Hi, Mac. Dude, that- I've only been live for like 10 seconds. Hello. Did we get some yo's? Big drama. Also, I have a new copy pasta. Have fun. Very passed away. Yeah. Watch like the last uh, 20 minutes of yesterday's vlog. But I'll talk about it whenever I turn face come on. Oh my god. <laughs> My phone wasn't muted. <laughs> I hate how when you open TikTok now, it defaults to an ad. And I literally talked about Taco Bell yesterday, and now I'm only getting Taco Bell ads. What is going on? Maybe TikTok is bad. Slow? Oh, loud. Sorry. It is loud. Oh my god. I'm sorry. <laughs> Music feels low. It's loud. Shit. <laughs> I was wondering. Sorry. Could you even hear me talk earlier? <laughs> it's because uh, for Pokemon, it's a uh, decibel 23. But then for my normal background music, it's 14. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> Thank you for telling me now. Holy shit. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> Face came on in one minute. Hashtag real. Hashtag not clickbait. Somebody reposted an IG reel to my their story. What the hell? Wait, what is what is the clip talking about? Oh, <laughs> that's crazy. I just think it's funny. Yeah, I have fans now. Oh, this is so weird. It's funny. They reposted the one me talking about being broke. 
or my family being broke, and then our power getting shut off. <laughs> Hashtag relatable, am I right? Okay. I'm almost done posting. Okay. Three to one. One layer, my one. Yep. Good morning. Good afternoon. Hope everyone is doing well today. It is Thursday, March 21st, 2024. Everybody, 10.42 a.m. Live a little bit early. Because I just wanted to get a head start. I don't know. I'm kind of scared of Slayport City. I'm scared. But welcome in, Matt. Can we get some yos? Thank you for chatting. They're just starting soon. Screen, welcome in. I'm getting IHOP for lunch. You know what? IHOP slams. Wait, is that the right word? Slaps. Why do you say slams? <laughs> IHOP happy hour entree start at $6. That's crazy. You know what I think? I think of places like food and retail can sell things for discount. It makes me not want to shop there at all. Because it's like, if they can charge $6, when normally an entree is like, let's say $12, it's like, why am I paying 12 Like, you can still make more money when it's 6 Like, huh? I know the reason why they lower the prices so they get more foot traffic, but still. Like, come on. I feel like I'm being smashed. Anyway, today's drink is the vanilla protein shake. I like the chocolate one more, but I didn't buy more of it. So, yeah. Also, I was looking at the nutrition labels, and the, the vanilla one doesn't have fiber in it. But the chocolate one has like 5% fiber per serving, so it's not too bad. So I'm gonna be getting the chocolate from now on, so... Cheers. I didn't think I would like the chocolate one. Because I usually don't like chocolate flavors. Because to me, they taste fake. But it tastes like actual chocolate milk. Okay, what did I do? Any updates? Um, Last night, I played video game with my friend. It was very fun. Very fun. And by with my friends, I mean, like, we all just played our separate games. And then we just hung out in VCs for, like, an hour or two. <laughs> we didn't do multiplayer. <laughs> <laughs> That's fun though, yeah. It's nice to like yap. Hi Keelan, can we get some yo's? XP t XP share today? Surely. Surely. I mean, actually, maybe it could happen. We're going to Slayport City today. Okay, any other updates? This morning I edited this week's YouTube video. No spoilers, you guys are early crew. No spoilers. It is going to be the drawing Pokemon from memory stream, because, you know, we're playing Pokemon now. Why not? Um... What else? What else? Yeah, so I'm working on that video, so it's ready on Saturday. I got two more days. Okay. I want you guys to be thinking in your brains, what should I do for my birthday stream? I will, Okay, one idea that I had that like made me giggle last night is, you know when you turn 25, or when you turn 20, when you can do, you can drink, you can like smoke weed, but when you turn 25, there's not much, but like the common trope is that like, oh, you can rent a car. With, like, no trouble. Even though you can rent a car if you're under 25. You just, like, some companies will pay a higher premium. Or make you pay a higher premium. So, I was thinking it would be funny if I did, like, a driving sim. <laughs> that would be really funny. Or if I played games that, like, had to do with vacation. Because I could do, like, vacation RP. That would be so good, yeah. Because I don't think I could get a wheel set up. Because... I don't- I wouldn't be able to play a PC game. It would- my- my laptop would brick itself. So I would probably just have to find some, like, really shitty driving sim on the Switch. <laughs> so, yeah. Cause, like, at my local, like, game retro store, they have, like, three of those, like, mechanical steering wheels for games. So, they have that. Yeah, I saw the Mario Kart wheel, dude. <laughs> But that's not like renting a car, that's just Mario Kart. I think if I did Mario Kart wheel that, I think I would save that for like a separate day. Cause for the birthday stream, it's gonna be 12 hours. So we have 12 hours to fill. So if it's 12 hours, it'll probably be like an hour worth of eating, you know, meals, gotta eat. Maybe some YouTube time. And probably like five to six activities ranging from like an hour to two each. Because I think last year for the birthday stream, I did like four hours of Mario Party, and like, that's fine, but... 
It felt mid. I think last year I just played games. I want to do more shit this year. So be thinking of what you want to see me do this year. I have a few other ideas cooking. I think we'll, like... We'll plan it during a sub only stream, like, two weeks before my birthday. So, like, middle of April, we'll talk about it more. So, you guys, you got two weeks. Do your homework. The wheels work in any game? Wait, no way. <laughs> okay. I'll look into it. I'll look into it. I saw your chat, and You messed up the... It's off the screen, but you messed up the clip. We're gonna talk about that, too. So, yesterday... I tweeted out... I gotta find the tweet. Cause like, I just need to be more active on Twitter, and I don't wanna yap on Twitter. Like, so many people yap, and it's stupid, okay? So, I was like, video? Just in general, most social media platforms are pushing video, cause video means more watch time retention, people are on the platform for longer, that's why like, every platform has like a shorts feed basically now. So, I'm not gonna do vertical videos on tw on Twitter, cause I don't want my account to be just clips. So, I tweeted out yesterday, I'm gonna start posting my fave clip y'all make for the day, so y'all can see clips here on the- or, so y'all can see clips here before the YouTube channel and see more of my actual stream content. Clippers, there is mandatory overtime now. Get to work, 07. So, guys. Because anytime I post a clip on Twitter on my main account, it gets like three likes, which is pretty cool. <laughs> and like, I usually delete my go live tweets because I don't like when they clutter my feed. But then, since I delete the go live tweets usually, then my Twitter page is empty. So I kind of want to try every time I stream, like legit, if there's a clip that I really like that somebody makes, I'll just repost it. And to clarify, I'm not going to shout people out if you make a clip, because just make clips for, like, funny shit, you know? Make clips if you want to make clips, or if you want to get top clipper of the month, that too. But, because obviously not all clips made will be put into the best of compilation, but there's still a good moment, so I think it kind of makes sense to put them on Twitter as, like, throwaway. Or, okay, not throwaway content, but, like, just, like, something really quick for people scrolling to watch, I guess. And then... But, for whoever makes the best top clip of the day, I will think in the next day's stream. So, yesterday's clip, which was, I think, the best, the title is pretty good, was, I think it was called Peason Scripts Her Streams, Shirley or some shit. And Keelan made it, and it was when, man, all I need in this area is a skitty and then a skitty spawned. Like, that was generally such a good moment. So, thank you, Keelan, for clipping and getting yesterday's top clip. Or rather, my favorite clip. Because Twitch clips, they don't get a lot of views. Like, you can see how many views a Twitch clip has on the platform. I think that clip has, like, 5 views, but then on on Twitter it has 84. So, maybe I'll get Twitter clout. Anyway, thank you, Keelan, for getting yesterday's top clip. You know what you get? A high five. Thank you. So I'm gonna start doing that every day. Because you guys make clips every day anyway. And then, because for the YouTube Clips channel, it usually takes a month, because I have like a, I have a backlog of clips that I post every other day, so. Thank you. Anything else I want to address? I think I'm good. Let's play this little game. I have three tabs of live split open. <laughs> Okay. Stop the music. Guys. It's a sad day. Why is my voice so, like, fucked up today? I didn't sleep well last night. I don't know why. I think it's because it's starting to get warmer, and I don't sleep well when it's warm. And that's apparently a thing. I also lowered my chair a little bit. And I feel- look, look at how much headroom there is. Okay, everybody? You know the drill. Say hi, YouTube! Editor, I'm sorry. This is so much footage you have to edit. <clears throat> okay. Whew. Man, attempt number four. I'm looking at my chart. Holy moly. So many Pokemon caught. <clears throat> okay. It is day six of the Peace Lock 2024. Day five ended with a super high, but then also lows. I beat the second gym, the Knuckle Badge. I defeated Brawly. But I lost my Torchic and Azumarill. It was very sad. 
But chat also voted to make me... But also chat allowed me to revive one of my Pokemon for the entire run. And I did choose to use my single revive to revive my Combusken. So, Mary is now a fallen soldier. I will be mailing Mary a Purple Heart to her residence. Back in the fields. So the plan today is simple. Day 6, getting ready for Slate Port City. I assume there's a huge story because I did explore it a little bit yesterday. I didn't talk to any of the NPCs. But I assume there's a gym. Maybe not. I don't know. But I did see Team Aqua and that was kind of scary. So that is the plan for today. You lost your starter? I did. It was actually so bad. What happened was... I Okay. Let me preface and say this. Since I lost Mary, I learned and Chad also explained is that whenever you withdraw a Pokemon from a battle, they lose any status buffs you gave them. So the mistake I made was I maxed out Mary's defense. I did defense curl like five or six times. And then I withdrew Mary, swapped in Combusken. Combusken got one hit KO'd after one like triple kick. And then I swapped Mary back in. And Mary couldn't take anymore because she lost the five to six defense curl buffs that I used because I withdrew her. So now I know. If I put Pokemon into a battle, they have to tank. If they die, they die. Because when you swap out, you're, you're skipping a turn basically when you swap a Pokemon out. You can do an investment game. <laughs> okay. Mac, if you find one on the Switch, send me a link. Or just send me the name. <laughs> That's so stupid. <laughs> but also, like, funny. Is there a game like that? That's so, so stupid. <laughs> no, but, like, stupid, like, a silly kind of way. Like. Like, I'm not being mean. I promise. Okay, let's unmute the tab. And look, we have two gym leaders up here now. Okay, I'm ready. I have my GPA booted up. It I charged it last night. Let's get in here. Man, two badges. Wait. And we're in. Dang, 38 hours. <laughs> okay, let's look at who's on my team right now. Oh yeah, I just got rid of Mary. Shoot. Um, I know the Pokemon in the start of Slateport, there's a whole bunch of fights you have to do. And they're all water type, and they have surf, so like Combusken will die. So, but all the trainers had like, I, I assume level, because I only did two encounters, they both had Pokemon that were level 13. So I think, I think what I'll do first is I'll grind a little bit and get some of my Pokemon to 15. That is my plan. There is a trading stock simulator game, that's so funny. If there's a switch port, Max, send me the name or tell me in chat if you find it today. That's hilarious. <laughs> okay. Okay. Um. I don't know what Pokemon is in Slateport City. Nobody tell me. If you do, you're in big trouble. I, I assume since it's a beach town, it's going to be like water Pokemon. So maybe I'm going to need grass. So right now, the only grass Pokemon I have is Ninkida, C Dot, and Shroomish. I think. Wait, is C Dot a ground type? No, he's grass. Okay. Tra train your mods up if you're nervous. Oh yeah, I'm nervous, but I don't know who to train because I lost Mary, which Mary is my goat. Mary kind of tanked the encounters I had in Slateport when I did visit it yesterday, so I'm not sure. But <laughs> Geodude looks so silly. Why is his sprite so dark? He looks like he got crispy on the beach. Also, hi Chip. Can we get some yo's? Hello. Sorry, my voice is silly today. <clears throat> you know, I yap too much. Last night, after I played game with my friends, I went to the comedy club really late. And I always feel really bad 
because I go on random days because different people perform on different days. Wait, I wait. Okay, what should I do? What should I do? I need to stop you up and focus. Okay, either way, I need to get a Sableye. Wait, maybe I should bring a Sableye to the next gym, because Sableye has no weaknesses, so Sableye can be like... Because Sableye is dark and psychic, I believe, because I know Sableye can do confusion. So... Yeah, okay. I'll grind a little bit either way. And then... Because Ralph and Bra are at 19, Combuskin is 17, so I still don't want to put... I don't want to put Combuskin in any of those uh, random encounter fights. So I think I'll grind a little bit, get wicked and snazzy up. Wait, no, I should. Um, I don't know. I don't know. I'm going back to the Poké Center. I think I want to level up C dot. Anyway, so I was at the comedy club, and I feel really bad because basically this is day seven of the peace lock. So day seven of like six to eight hour streams. So <laughs> by the time like at the end of the day, my voice is dead. So it's like I don't giggle. Or laugh or chortle when my voice is dead. Like, I went last night and I only giggled once. And it was a guy who was making jokes about having MS. <laughs> You're a menace at the club? Well, okay. You know, okay, I like to see it as, um... I'm like the one harsh food critic. Who, like... You have to, like, make really good shit to make them giggle. Okay, we'll level up C dot. I don't know why, but my first thought of that story and said comedy club was bed. Like, amazing st this What are you talking about, Keelan? I'm sorry. I don't understand your chat. Try again. Anyway, so the only joke that made me, like, audibly chuckle and snort a little bit was this guy who was joking about having MS. And I felt really bad because there's no, like ramp to get up to the stage it's only steps and you can tell this guy was like struggling with walking if you don't know what ms is it's characterized by like brain lesions that cause paralysis in your major extremities so lesions is kind of like tumors but not really tumors um rainy day games has it she has some good posts and information if you want to learn more but um oh i forgot to make my party leader anyway so he was making the joke that made me chuckle was, he was like, I was talking to my therapist, and she was saying, you know, you gotta find the positives of having MS, and then I chuckled. Because, like, my therapist said something like that, too. But that was when I didn't have a diagnosis. <laughs> but it's like... Also, it's funny, because, like, my therapist also had an autoimmune condition as well. So it's like, why would she say that shit to me? That's why I giggled, because I related. Oh, like, after hanging out with your friends, I thought you were going to say you were going to bed. Oh, no, I, I went out to the club for, like, an hour. You know, I wanted to get out, touch grass. Mainly because, like, I didn't want to go tonight. Because I want to I wanna explore Slateport, and I assume there's going to be a third gym. So I assume today's stream is going to be, like, eight hours. Okay, now enough yapping, let's play fun with fucking Pokemon. After this, I'll swap out Ralph and have, um, C Doc be my party leader. Okay, I, I keep on saying I need to stop yapping. But there's so many, like, long periods in which I don't yap in these streams. And I feel kind of bad. But then it's also, like... It's impossible to yap for, like, eight hours straight. You can only do that if you... Are very sociable. You know what I mean? Okay, I'm gonna take away Ralph's... First strike. Or wait, Quick, quick Law. Even though Ralph and Bra are the same level, I'm gonna work on gradually leveling up Ralph. Because... Ralph has 43 XP, or HP compared to 46. Combuskin is level 17, but has 53 HP. I really hope... I know the mechanic for the candies in this game is you have to plant berries, and then the berries you can use to make candies. The only candy that I know there is, is one that can level up and give your Pokemon 
like level them up one level that's pretty cool but i want a candy that will increase my like hp count because i want my pokemon to be strong and tanky <clears throat> stream ends when i find a stable eye Finally, we're leveling up Dottie. After this fight, of course. The stocks trading game is called Trading Simulator for $3.99. Yo, that's cr I'm buying that shit. <laughs> okay. Okay, so things I'm gonna do for my 25th birthday stream. Rent a car. Wait, I can probably pre-film a bit for that. That'd be hilarious. Okay, trading simulator. What else do 25-year-olds do? They get like a beer belly, right? Because that's when they graduate college and then all the alcohol, like, finally catches up to them. But I already have a gut. <laughs> Dude, I, like, slap my tummy, but you guys can't see me do that. Level four. A house flipping sim? Okay, Mac, you're getting so many good ideas. Make a list and tell me later. Um, what was I doing? I can learn Flash now, I just remembered. Guys, when I become a millionaire, Mac is gonna be my producer. I'll fly you out here. Oh wait, house I've seen like Germa play it. House flipping sim? Is it on the Switch? Um, what was I doing? I was looking for Flash. Yo, Dottie can use Flash! I'm only gonna give it to Dottie because Dottie has like the least amount of moves right now. I kind of want to explore the later levels in this caves. I want to see if the later levels have like higher, higher level Pokemon. I could play house flipping soon. And be like, building a house for my girlfriend. She has a U-Haul we met two months ago. Do you think that title's too long, though? Oh, <laughs> uh, but the house flipping sim would be another, like, good 9 to 5 stream. I invested in stocks and bought a house. Okay. Now that I think about it, the trading stocks and then the house flipping sim, those... Wait, why can't I see? Flash. Oh, cool. Can I use Flash again? Oh, I thought it would light up the whole room. Dang. What the hell? Wait, watch this, I'm gonna run. <laughs> okay, that didn't work. <clears throat> I didn't explore this area at all, I was just speedrunning through it, so... I refuse to play The Sims. I ain't doing it. I know I'll get addicted. Also, I think a lot of, like, Sims content is... Like, you're just watching NPCs, and it's very hard to, like... It it doesn't feel like people are playing a game when they play Sims, if that makes sense. 
Like, I bet it's fun to, like, play, but I don't think it's a good stream game. But the music is very good for the game. I think I added a Sims music compilation to my stream playlist. Donnie Crew to level 5! Let's go! We continue on. Pokeball! You found one Pokeball! Thank you! I get tired watching people playing Sims. I was gonna say something mean. <laughs> I was gonna say, are you tired of watching me play Pokemon yet? Type one. Okay, Sableye. Let's see. Um, all my Pokemon are kind of strong. I just realized. I don't have any moves that will, like, put a Pokemon to sleep, I just realized. I need to bring a Shroomish again. Physical attacks don't work on Sableye, so I'm gonna try... Wicked. Whew, saved. Poison Sting! It's not effective. Hmm. I forgot what Constrict does. Okay, it's a physical move. should be leveling up Shroomish, that way Shroomish can just absorb. I don't think absorb would work on Sableye anyway. I'll switch in Combuskin? Because <laughs> why not? Let's see, Ember, Scratch, Double Kick, Focus. I'll try Scratch. No, no, no. You know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna just throw a Pokeball. I don't wanna merc this safe alive. Okay, I know it wouldn't work. <laughs> Can we get some yo's? Hello, guys. work.
I wish I could see, like, the moves my Pokemon have from this menu. Okay, okay. Maybe I use this turn to heal Wicked. I heal- I- I switch Wicked back in. And then I do Poison Stings to kick, slowly pick at his health. I'll do that. Oh, I'm running out of potions. <laughs> um, I forgot to buy more. I was supposed to do that at the start today. <laughs> or maybe I should just run. Nah. I'm not a wimp. Supersonic confuses? And I missed. Good job, Wicked. Oh, that did nothing. Hit her yourself. Oop. Take this L. Now's my chance. Come on, please. Go! <sighs> He's gonna die. Ooh. My last chance. Please, please. You're so annoying. Nobody likes you, Sableye. Dottie grew to level six. Okay, so I guess my only hope of chance, my only chance at catching a Sableye is to put him to sleep. So I need to go back. Whenever I go back, I will get my shroomish. That's my only hope. Aaron. Sableye does not like you. He went in so... The first Sableye I caught, like, was so easy. I don't get what's going on this time. But you know, I don't see that. Stream ends when I catch a Sableye. If you want to be here to watch the end, make sure you're following, because guys, we are 30 minutes in the stream. So if you're new here, click that follow button. You get cool emotes, and you get to tap in chat. Isn't that pretty cool? Turn that heart button purple. Okay. Psychic is not strong against steel. Uh, you, Ralph is our new goat since Mary's dead. Dottie grew to level 7! Man, Aaron's worth a lot of XP. Dottie learned growth. Very nice. We continue on. I 
can't raise my chair up. Now I'm tall. <clears throat> so, how have you guys been doing? Plus 38. I want to see what moves Dot actually has. They have Bide, Pardon, Flash, and Growth. I got injured in PE. A sprained ankle? Oh. You know what you should do? You should sue. Legit, you should sue. I don't think I ever got like hurt hurt at school. But I got I used to get hit in the face all the time with dodgeballs. Cause obviously I'm short now and I was even shorter when I was little. So when I was in elementary, I was like a head and a half shorter than everybody else. So when other people would get hit in the chest, I would get hit in the face. And it sucked. Sprain your ankles, sprain your budget. Exactly. Sue my school for a bagillion dollars? Yes, sir. They should at least, like, give you the whole rest of the school day off, right? Oh, wait. I forgot Abra Fleas, Lamau. Oh, I missed 11-11, guys. It's 11-19. Make a late wish. I keep forgetting. <laughs> Aaron has a rock head. <laughs> that scared me a little bit. Uh-oh. Let's see if fighting is strong against steel. Yes, it is. Now I know. Aaron has that boomer lead paint stare. You say that, but all you zoomers have the TikTok stare. And also the side eye. Dottie grew to level 8. Demonstrate the TikTok stare with diagrams? I went to art school, not science school. <laughs> uh oh, I'm confused. Then why do you have a science degree? Don't use my jokes against me, come on. I 
I can't wait to have my diploma. Because then it'll be real, you know? Right now I just have a transcript, but I want to have that fancy plaque. Level 12. That scared me. Elaborate on the TikTok stare, I'm curious. I don't know, it was just like a one-off joke. You guys don't gotta psychoanalyze me. Okay, I'm gonna have to run away. This is my last heal. My defense fell. Let's try Ember one more time. If this kills, oh well. Ooh. Ooh. The moment of truth? Please, Sableye. Screw you. Okay, I think I should be safe, go back and heal. I'm gonna go use my escape rope, and we'll come back here later. It doesn't seem like the further you go in the caves, the higher XP Pokemon, so I'm just gonna farm at the start, it doesn't matter. Who used the escape rope? And I lived! Is it the two screen stare when you say- when you have to stay stimulated? Basically. I just feel like zoomers are like hyper empathetic but then hyper apathetic at times. I do feel like the internet makes people more self-centered. And then in turn, they will defend themselves relentlessly, but then sometimes have less apathy towards other people. Like, some people are mean. Like, really mean. Let's go buy some items. Petalberg. Oh, Pico. This is where I caught Meryl. We're gonna go shopping. Oh. Different stores have different items. 
That makes sense, but also that sucks. Well, I don't need Pokeballs, so I don't need Great Balls yet. Hmm. I'll have to buy more larger heels somewhere else then. I'm gonna double check if my berries grew. Peason, this is Roxanne of Rustboro City. I heard from Brawley that you're moving up through the ranks of trainers at an incredible clip. Well, I'd rather not think that I can beat you. I promise I'll shape up my gym so that you may challenge us again. I hope you'll be looking forward to that occasion as much as me. Click. Well, I lost Mary. Dang. Is my least favorite Pokemon on my team right now? On my party? Wicked, because Wicked killed Mudkip and I still hold resentment. <laughs> but I don't- I don't know which Pokemon are in the next gym, so... I don't have, like, a favorite or least favorite yet, I guess, for the next upcoming party. I really wanted to, like, bring my first six Pokemon to the Elite Four, but I don't think that's gonna happen. Because... I lost Meryl, and I lost Lotad and Gus, and that's like half my first six, <laughs> so I probably just have to build like a, just a basic versatile team. I'm gonna go to Rustboro City and buy more heals. Okay, I have a question for the gamers in chat. If I hold- if I have my Pokemon hold an Oranberry in a battle, does it count as a turn? Or does he like eat the berry before the turn starts? You think it takes a turn? Hmm. Then what's the point of holding it? Then it just counts as like a normal item. Hmm. I don't know. We'll, we'll need somebody to confirm this information. Because if it doesn't count as a turn, then I'll just have every single one of my Pokemon hold a berry. What info needs confirming? If I have my Pokemon hold an Oran berry before I start a fight, like a battle, if- will the Pokemon automatically use the berry and it doesn't count as a turn, or does it count as a turn? Also, hi Ethan. I haven't reset for one and a half days. 
They eat it at low health before your turn, and then you get your turn. Okay, so they auto-eat it. Okay. That's what I assumed. Yeah, so before the next battle, I'll just make sure- Or the next gym battle, rather. I'll make sure everybody's holding an Oran host club berry. Didn't your starter faint? Yes. But then we also did the peace and claws yesterday. Chat voted. I'm allowed one single revive for the whole run. So that means for attempt number four, I chose to revive my Combuskin. Silcoon! Any shinies yet? Nope, not yet. If, we have, if I find a shiny, I'll put a shiny counter on screen. Snazzy grew to level 11. Let's freaking go. Trollish. Before I head to Slateport City, I think I'm going to level up my Shroomish and my Ninkira to level 15. So after we go to Respiro, buy Pokeballs and heals, we'll go back. That'll be my plan. Because then at least the Grass Pokemon will defeat the Water Pokemon that most of the encounters have on the beach. It was so hard not to backseat during the gym battle. <laughs> Thank you for staying strong, Ethan. <laughs> but you know what? Now I learned. I learned so much. I can now add educational to the tags. Anytime, guys, from here on out, anytime you guys feel the urge to backseat game, just type psi 2 nerd in chat. That way I know you're like molding at your computer. Or you want to slam your phone on the table. <laughs> Me at the gym. <laughs> Oh my god, 17 Oran Berries, my favorite number. You know what else is my favorite thing to do? Where's my cursor? My favorite thing to do is run ads, because guys, we are an hour into stream, so it's time for me to run some ads. You can avoid that ad by subscribing for $4.99, just $5. Skip your coffee and get ad previewing all month long, or... You can link it with a Prime to Twitch and hashtag sub for free with Prime. Click subscribe, see if you have a Prime available. Also, if you subscribe, you can kill my Pokemon. But also, don't subscribe. Get some water, get a snack, I'll see some of you guys in a few. Oh, also, today's snack is apple chips. They're not super healthy, but they're better than real chips, and I'm trying to, like, eat the snacks that I have at home already, so... I got apple chips today. I think they're baked. No, I, th I think they're fried. Which is why they're bad.
Surely this place will have great balls. Pokeballs. They don't. But they have super potions! Do you have any overworld TMs yet? I don't know what that is. Wow, broke. <laughs> Shut up. I literally had like 6,000 polka dollars earlier. You just didn't see it. Get in the stream earlier, Ethan. Come on. Okay, what now? Oh yeah, I do have cut. Yeah, I get you. You get the TMs when you beat the gym. Look, you can see the gym leaders up here. I just got flash. So I can be like the playground men. <laughs> hey, where do I buy stupid grape balls? It's gotta be in Slateport City. I was gonna put like the gym badge icons here but you don't really see the badges unless you look at your player profile and I think the people look cooler it's almost like <laughs> I'm not saying it. <laughs> I'll say it. It's almost like I'm keeping effig effigies of like my fallen enemies. I don't know where that joke was going. Is it even a joke? Oh my god, last night at the comedy club. There was one guy, and he was making Mario Kart jokes. I was like, oh my god. <laughs> I was like, oh my god. He's a gamer. But he was like, man. Okay, <laughs> he was making... <laughs> it was a wild transition. <laughs> he, he started off with a little story time about like... Um... Gawk, gawk. <laughs> if you know, you know. And then he's like, I'm gonna keep my comedy clean. Let's talk about Mario Kart. And I was like, oh! <laughs> uh, who am I switching out? I wanna switch out. And then he was just like roasting people based on what player they play. And I was, I was gonna like say shy guy, but I got too shy. Maybe I should level up Magikarp. My two favorite things. <laughs> oh wait, I need to level up my grass type. What am I doing? Um, I like Snazzy because Snazzy keeps picking up items. I don't need Combuskin right now. We'll get you later, Combuskin. Yeah, I don't really have any of the grass type. Welcome in. Can we get some yo's? Hello. Welcome in. Feel free to chat, Lurk. Whatever you like. The plan is simple. Leveling up these three Pokemon. We'll do level 15. That way we can beat all the people on the beach. And then we'll explore Slate Port City. 
You didn't give me any yo's today? Oh, I'm sorry, Ethan. <laughs> but you know what? You're still watching the stream. You don't need it. Ethan, also, you don't, like, beg for attention anymore. I think it's funny. Whenever people first time chat for the day, they'll, like, open with a joke. And it's, like, so pick me. Like, just say hi like a normal person. Granted, I'm a pick-me chatter. <laughs> I don't like chatting unless I have a joke ready. You can call me Void or Kaiz or Kazui. I think Void will be easier for me to remember. But welcome in! Do you like Pokemon? <laughs> Wait, no, I gotta switch them out. Wait, I forgot. I, I'm doing the strat. Well, I get picked, so some, th something's working? Pog. I don't really mind. All pronouns, we love that. Stop leeching! Grr. Yeah, I need to stop Grr. It's such a stupid bit. I've been a Pokemon fan since Sinnoh. My first Pokemon game was the Wii one. The Poke Park Adventure. And this is my first time playing a retro Pokemon game. You can see by the resets I have, right? Dude, only 27 XP? Shit. Poke Park 2 goes crazy? Okay, should I actually get the Poke Park 2 game? I'm debating. We'll do it for Wii Week next year. I still have to beat the- Wait. Guys, 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 guys. Do you guys want to do Poke Park tomorrow for sub-only stream? I'll hook up the Wii. I'll do it. We still need to decide what we're gonna do, because I have to do a long stream. I promised you guys long sub-only tomorrow. Because I did Poke Park for like two hours on stream in, yeah, last year, 2023, and I still need to beat it. <laughs> Poke Park Peace and Eddie Percent? Should I put a live split on screen? Okay, we'll do it tomorrow. We were gonna, I was gonna have, I was gonna like talk about what we want to do tomorrow. But Poke Park does sound fun. Because I was thinking, I can't do Stardew Valley yet because there's no update for the Switch version. And then, I was going to finish the Cat Cafe game, but that's gonna be like... I just want to see the lore. Because <clears throat> I told chat last year, last January... Ooh, Ralph grew to level 20! Let's freaking go! Ralph is officially my highest level Pokémon right now! Evolving. It's gonna be a curly, I think. Wow. Congratulations, your Ralph evolved into Curlia. Oh, that's so cool. Okay, so no new moves, everything is the same. But we have Kirby now! Let's freaking go! Nice. Anyway, so when I played Poke Park last year, I promised you guys that I would beat the game for sub only, and then I just never did. So, you know what? Now you guys can't say I don't follow through. Mm hmm. Oh, Ralph is so cool! Okay, why is there... Sorry, why is there no skirt on the end of Ralph? That's a bit sus. What the hell? I okay, I'm not looking. It's just like, it's right there. How can I not glance? You know, I love body positivity, but it's like... I think that's a bit much. 
<laughs> got it all out there. <laughs> The mail game. <laughs> I think everybody, basically everybody in my chat is fucking gay, so... Wait, no! What am I doing? What am I doing? Okay, I forgot. Oh my god, I forgot. Ninja's not supposed to fight right now. Oh my god, holy shit. Okay. I forgot. I, I fell out of the rhythm. Curly distracted me. You're so good at making me freak out after every attack. I like to keep you on your toes. Like we talked about the other day, if I was good at this game, it, this stream would be so boring. Um, type one if you're bored. That was a test. Nobody failed. Good job, guys. Ooh, Makuhita. Oh, no! <laughs> Ooh, Snazzy has an item for me. You received a repel from Snazzy. Ralph looks like a disapproving mother. <laughs> what? I think you're projecting. Hi, Vicodent. Welcome in. Can we get some yo's? Hello. You're late, where were you? Clock in. Everybody, clock in if you haven't already. Oh wait, shit, I'm confused. No! Uh oh. Oop. I was at work, get that bag. Hi, Electra. Can we get some yo's? Hello. When did Ralph evolve? I think like three encounters ago, so pretty recent. It's actually really sick. I should test and see what Disable actually does. I'll try my next encounter. Oh, Ninja Grid to level 7. Let's go. Snazzy has another item. Damn! Snazzy's cooking.
disable and it missed come on I just want to see what the move does I'm getting really mad. Hey, this! What? Oh, maybe because Zubank is, can fly. Okay, I. <laughs> You're gonna die now. Oh, I'm still confused. Shit. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. That totally didn't take away half my health. Damn it. You received a repel from Snazzy. You know what? I have Ralph Bra at 20, Combuskins at 17. I kind of want to just go to the city, but then I'm also scared. The psychic attacks did fine against the water types on the beach. I I kind of want to just go to the city because I don't I don't want to grind up these three Pokemon and then it turns out that like I don't need them. But I assume you don't get XP share until you do some fights. I don't know. How about, how about, I will level up for another 30 minutes, maybe, possibly. So guys, watch till the end. <laughs> I'll level up Ronnie for now. And I'm, a, I'm not going to the city because Vigadent said go to the city and Vigadent has never played a Pokemon game. So I don't, I'm, I'm being honest, I don't trust your judgment. <laughs> I don't mean to go out, but it's just the truth. Stop confusing me! So annoying. I just want to see the pretty city. Oh, don't worry. In thirty minutes, 
It's because right when you get to the city, there's like, I assume, like six encounters, like battles. And I, I don't want to get stuck there and die. I already lost Mary, which it was my, which Mary was my tank. So I don't really have a character that can tank right now. I don't remember if ground is strong against grass. No me recorde. Running through to level 7. Let's freaking go. And learn Stun Spore! Yay! You received an escape rope from Snazzy. Oh, I can't escape. Weird. But I promise you, Slateport City is very pretty. Level 20. Nice. You know what? I think today we'll get like a Rayquaza. Surely one will spawn soon, right? No way! <laughs> I wanted to get people to click on monitor one, you know? Or monitor two, damn it. You successfully monitor one me? Let's go to the polls. Chip, we'll see you later. Thanks for hanging out. Get that bag.
Ronnie grew to level 8. Man, I really wish I had Mary still. Mary could sweep everybody in this cave. What if we say it's been half an hour? <laughs> it is not. It's only been five minutes. Watch till the end to see me go to the city. No, but like seriously, I need to level up. I don't want to go in unprepared. I'm scared. Because the Pokemon that the trainers have are like 13 to 15. We're running for the level 9. Let's freaking go. Five minutes is like 45 to me. Oh, yeah. <laughs> you have that ADHD brain. Don't worry. We'll get there. Remember, it's about the journey, not the destination. I'm the opposite. Time passes way too quickly for me. The only time that time feels longer for me is when I exercise. Like, 10 minutes on the bike feels like 30. When I'm at work, 8 hours feels like 30 hours? <laughs> oh no. Back when I worked, I did- I worked at a daycare and then food service. Time always went way too quickly at work. When I was at Subway, I typically did morning shifts, like my first three hours were food prep, and then my final two to four would be working the line, so making sandwiches. And there never seemed to be enough time. Cause food, food prep, like cutting veggies, takes a good handful of time. And then working the line, Granted, I was really quick at making sandwiches. Like, I could get a toasted sandwich out in like a minute. When like, toasting time is 30 seconds. Like, I'm really quick. Dude, if somebody makes like a subway simulator game, I would play the shit out of that. <laughs> Somebody do it. You know what else you guys gotta do? Follow the channel, because we are another 30 minutes in the stream. So if you're new here, click that follow button. You get cool emotes, and you get to type in chat. Isn't that pretty cool? So turn that heart button purple today. Ronnie grew to level 10. And learn Leech Seed! Yay! Leech Seed is so good. Because it's basically absorbed, but every turn automatically. 
I remember Ronnie had Leech Seed in my first run. And then I killed him. You received an antidote from Snazzy. Very nice. This run is gonna go so quick whenever I get XP share. I cannot wait. I'm glad I haven't run into any Zubat in a while. Because Zubat is the only Pokemon that my psychic ones are weak to. Ronnie grew to level 11. Let's go. Seems like Ronnie's leveling up so quickly, but then I realized that, like, Ronnie was at level 6 10 minutes ago.
Oop. Okay, fighting is not effective. Oh yeah, against psychic. Yeah, because psychic is strong against fighting. Why did I think I like discovered something there? <laughs> Man, that was 62 XP each, holy! After this is over, I gotta go heal. Both Ralph and Bra are at half health. I did not rest. My worst enemy, Zubat. Leech life will not work. I'm gonna try fight with Sh Ronnie. Stun spore. What? It's effective? Seed. I thought absorb was yeah, it's a grass type move. Why is it effective against me? Sleep! <laughs> yeah, stun store failed because it's already asleep, I think.
Yeah, why is it absorbed not effective on Zubat now? I'm gonna swap in a Pokemon. Since Zubat is asleep anyway. Oh! The Leech Seed can heal other Pokemon too, even if you swap out. Interesting. Rani grew to level 12. Oh wait, I, earlier I said I would leave the caves when I catch a Sableye. I still haven't seen a Sableye in a while though. I would like to point out I'm still here doing college work. You're fine. We love the lurkers. I'm so glad I'm done with college, though. It's been almost, oh my god, almost a year since I graduated. It'll be three months. And then it'll be a year. Oh my god. I keep on getting calls from my university being like, We would like to call and follow up on your performance since your graduation. And they're like, have you gotten a job? No. <laughs> And they're like, do you plan on getting a job? And I'm like, no. <laughs> I don't need a degree at this point. I only went back because I want something else to do. <laughs> Are you getting a master's? <laughs> you guys know what my opinion is on master's degrees, right? My go-to joke is people graduate, they miss their friends, and they go back to get a master's because they're bored. <laughs> Wait, Vic, you want to run my business? I'm Michael Bank? <laughs> Guys, college is a scam. Just wait five years, and then all the commies and socialists will take over, so college will be free. Wait five years. Because in five years, more Zoomers will be like 25 to 30, so then they'll actually be in Congress. Just wait five years. That's messed up, but true. Literally, you're the picture example of that. <laughs> Target pays for my college? Wait, that's actually sick. That's great, though. We love that. I've been dropped out for almost two years. Don't worry about it, Electra. Only go to school if you really feel like you need to. Uh-oh. Because college is a scam. It also depends on what type of career you want. Like, some employers won't even look at you if you don't have a degree or certain credentials. But if you're going into a more creative field, just, like, make shit. People like seeing action over book work for the most part, for anything. So even if you're not in college, you can either get a job that's in a similar field or that will have transferable skills. So things that, what if you do in your job currently can be used in a future job that you want. Or volunteer, volunteer. <clears throat> college is a scam for most things except jobs where you need to be highly educated. I agree with that. Got a full ride scholarship. Damn, you must have been smart. I mean, not been. <laughs> you must be smart. But when my college kind of botched my major and I was depressed. Oh, sad. I'm sorry that happened, Electra. 
But you know what? Maybe that one wasn't meant to be your pet. I think most of my chat room is like Zoomers. You know, late high school, early 20s. There are some bozos going back to college and they're 50. And they're just figuring out what they want to do. So if you feel lost, it's okay, it's normal. Just try to enjoy your day to day. Enjoy the little things. And I'm sure you'll find it. You know, heck, I'm still looking. I really want to do something with art. I've seen your art on Twitter and it's really good, Electra. I'll admit it, I stalk some of your guys' on social media, but I just don't say anything. Your art is really good. I can't get- Oh wait, it's Abra. <laughs> okay, I'm good. If you want to like commercialize your art, in general you either have to do products or services. So services can be like commission, uh, freelance, contract, which is like more traditional. And then you can also do product work, which is like prints, stickers, keychains. But the problem with um, product work is that you have to actually buy the shit, so you need capital to invent. So like, if you do want to like pursue art, just keep making shit. And if it doesn't sell, oh well. But just keep making shit that you like. What I was, what I would also recommend, Electra. I don't know. I don't know if you have. But buy some, like, encyclopedias. Because they have a lot of good pictures. Like, I went to the bookstore and I bought, like, four different animal books for my sister. So she has a bunch of photo reference to work off of. <clears throat> Why does dude look like Hopper from Stranger Things? <laughs> what? <laughs> you mean the guy in the cave? You just see a white man with a beard. I think you're profiling... I'm not profiling. <laughs> Get him! Why are there so many freaking Ambers here? Like, what's going on? I mainly just have art books of my favorite stuff from games and movies. That's also good, too. I personally... Okay, I haven't drawn or painted in a long time. Like, I've been sketching out, like, future projects that I will be launching in April. Whenever I can reopen my shop officially. But, like, oh, it's Abra. Why didn't I run away? But, like, I haven't, like, created, like, a final, final piece in months. And it's also, it's mainly because, like, I've been spending a lot more time streaming and editing. Because, like, this is the thing that... Okay, I don't make money. <laughs> Like, I didn't get my Twitch payout for January, because I only made $20. I mean... Yeah, I only made $20 in January. Which is fine, I don't care. Like, thankfully my sister is still providing for me. And you know what, guys? My sister said she might release some art this year. <gasps> she has some really good ideas cooking. I'm not gonna leak, I actually can't leak, because it's such a good idea. But she wants to do stamps, like, uh, block prints, and then also paper cuts. And then maybe paintings. But it would be a similar format to what I do now, so, like, it would be not, like, print prints. It would be, like, remix of an original piece. Which would be a lot easier to do with paper cuts, because, like, obviously you can't print a paper cut. You could use a Cricut, but... Uh, ooh, Ronnie Grew to level 13. Let's go. We are thinking if we want to, like... Because depending on the complexity of a paper cut, you can, you can cut it with a Cricut, but then you also want the appeal of, like, hand, of a hand-cut print, you know? Like with scissors or a Zacco knife, so that's something she and I are talking about. Ew, Zubat! But... Guys, you have to promise 
Whenever she starts making art, you have to support her. You gotta promise. Because what my sister, like, truly wants to do... She's so cute. <laughs> she, she just wants to see the world. And... Because my sister, you guys know she's autistic? Or, she's on the spectrum. Same thing. But, um... And she, like, didn't have... She just doesn't feel a lot. Like, she, she's like the apathetic type of autistic person. Like, she doesn't feel, like, at all. And, like, that's fine. But because of that, she never truly had, like, a path or a passion. And this past year, like, last year, she went to Japan with our roommate, and it was really cute. And ever since, like, she's just been planning out trips to, like, every single country. Like, she has, like... So many Google Docs of like fully planned, full itineraries of like one to two week trips. So like if you ask her, like, hey, I want to go to Italy. She's like, oh, look at this Google Doc I made. Like she just does it because it's fun and it's really cute. So like, I was talking to her about it. Also, we're 30 minutes in, so I'm done grinding for now. Let's see. Let's review. Ronnie's at 13. Ralph is 20. Bruns 20. I'm combusting at 17. I think I should be fine if I go to the city. I should be fine. Also, Vic, I saw your message. I was gonna make a masochistic joke, but I want it to be nice. And you probably wanted me to call you a masochist. Just please don't be the new titans, please. Anyway, so, like, my sister is, like, really passionate about, like, traveling, and it's really cute. Like, one of her... And she has, like, a better job now. Like, she makes fucking, like, $21 an hour. Lucky little shit. <laughs> But honestly, she makes more money, so she can keep supporting me. Honestly, huge dub. Um. So, like, she really wants to travel. And then she's also, like, kind of... She wants to get into photography, too. And I'm like, oh, that's so cute. <laughs> I could say I'm a minor, but then you're canceled. Uh, no age talking chat, no age chat. I know you're not. I know you're older. You literally said you're going for your master's. I don't think any 13-year-old uh, is going for the master's. You know what I mean? Anyway. Wait, I misclicked. So, I was talking to her about it. And she wants to go on another trip this year. She doesn't know when. But I was like, okay. If you want to go on another trip this year, you have to, like, do more work. Like, you gotta make art. You promised me you would do that this year, 2024. So she's working on having something ready by May. And I'm really proud of her. Because, like, I, I told my sister... Oh, we're in Slate Port City, everybody! I told my sister, if I ever have money, money, I will pay for her to go on trips wherever she wants. That is the dream. That is my new goal in life. And then I would have her vlog everything, and then she could do a travel vlog channel. <laughs> Guys, she's... Oh my god, she's... She's 23. Holy shit, she's so old. Okay. Oh, I'm so scared. I didn't go to the Poké Center and swap out my Pokémon. I forgot. Anyway, where was I going with this? I forgot. But anyway... And, like, she's 23, and it took her 22 years to, like, figure out what she truly liked and wanted to do with life. So. Don't worry if you don't have an idea of what you want to do yet. You'll find it. <clears throat> Mom, come pick me up. I'm scared. No, you're not. Also, guys, we're 40 hours into this run. Officially a full week of work. That's crazy. 40 hours? <laughs> okay, technically for this run, it's only been 15. So that's not as bad.
What is free TTS? I'll show you. Oh, I didn't test alert, so it might not work. I'll redeem for you. It worked! Yeah, if you redeem it, the silly voice says something for free. My alerts work today. Yeah, you know, I, I believe in uh, equality. So most everything that's paid, there's free. Free TTS, free calligraphy. Okay, let's look at my party. Shroomish? Curlia. Kadabra. Snazzy. Combuskin. Review. Okay, I think I'm ready for Slate Port City now. Ralph, party leader. Bruh, Combuskin, Ronnie, Snazzy. Ronnie, I don't know why I'm bringing him. Because why not? And Snazzy, because that way Snazzy can pick up items. I think I should be fine. I have four Pokemon that are leveled up enough. I should be fine. Since I already did, I think, four battles on that beach already, I've probably have beaten half of them. I should be fine. And honestly, leveling up the caves is not fast enough anymore either. And I know there is a new route just past Slateport. So, let's see. Everybody, we're back in Slateport City. And you know what else has made a comeback? The ad breaks. Guys, it's time for me to run an ad because we are two hours in the stream. So if you want to avoid that ad, all you must do is subscribe. For $4.99, just $5, skip your coffee and get ad free viewing all month long. Or you can link your Amazon Prime to your Twitch and hashtag sub for viewer prime. Click subscribe, see if you have a sub available. But if you subscribe, you can kill my Pokemon, so don't subscribe. Oh my god, I can't! The game is so cute! <laughs> I'm glad you're enjoying it, a big... And that's a big reason why I chose this version of Pokemon. I think it's the most visually... ...interesting. Like, simplistic, but also you can tell what everything is. Okay, did I run an ad? Wait, I gotta check. For some reason, it didn't tell me that an ad ran. Oh yeah, an ad did stop. Okay, cool. I did run an ad. Okay. See you in a bit, Vic. We're back in. Oh, okay. <clears throat> now time to battle everyone. After this phone call. Hey there, Peason. It's me, Elliot. I just took a shot at catching this tentacle, but it took off. I came oh so close, too. It spoiled my day. Alright, see ya. Okay, no need to trauma dump on the timeline. <laughs> I'm basking in the sun. I think I fought this guy already. Oh yeah, I did. I'm a sailor, but... I did fight these kids. Our sandcastle's taking a long time to make. Oh wait. Did I fight everyone already? You can have this! You obtained the soft sand. Thank you. Let's see what that is. Soft sand. A hold item that raises the power of ground type moves. Okay. 
Oh, the only Pokemon that had a ground type move was Mary. I've laid anchor in ports around the world, but slave ports the best. First battle. Sailor Huey would like to battle. A wingle, said. Ralph Kill. Okay, wait. Maybe I'm over leveled a lot. <laughs> um. And he has a fighting Pokemon, this bozo. He did not see me coming. Ralph gained 225 XP. You defeated Sailor Huey. You're the best. You got 384 Poké Dollars for winning. When I learn how to swim, I think my Pokémon will become tougher. Yeah, I fought these three guys already. I'm getting famished. My inner tube looks like a giant donut. Oh, I don't think I fought this one yet. If you look at the beach from the sky, it looks like a big flower garden. <laughs> okay. After I showed you my round inner tube, too. Yeah, I fought everyone here. Oh my god. I was scared for nothing. Yo, trainers. Whether you're a hot or a trot, or a cool cat or not, chill in my papa's spot. All you need is a twirling sign, and you got a job. Whoa, this place is bigger than it looks from the outside. Oh. I'm gonna show you how great my Pokemon are, but don't cry! Please don't tell me this is all battles. Tuber Simon would like to battle. Oh, he has an Azuril. Wait, maybe there's Azurals here! Wait. Die. Ralph gained 84 XP and grew to level 21. Ralph is trying to learn Calm Mind. Calm Mind raises special attack and special defense by focusing the mind. Ooh, that's huge! I'll swap it out for Growl. One, two, and poof! Ralph forgot Growl and learned Calm Mind. Oh, he has a Meryl! I bet Tuber Simon would have lost his mind if he saw my Azumaru. Ralph gained 148 XP. You defeated Tuber Simon. I lost, but I won't cry. You got 48 Poké Dollars for winning. Oh, okay. This is only battles then. Boring battles aren't worth the effort. Fiery hot battles are what toughen up trainers and Pokémon. Is she flirting? Yo. Beauty Joanna would like to battle. A Goldeen? <laughs> For lunch?
Ralph gained 309 XP. You defeated Beauty Joanna. That's hot. <laughs> Why'd I say that? <laughs> you got 1,040 Poké Dollars for winning. Holy moly. If you're looking for a battle in this seashore house, you'll find no hotter trainer than me, matey. Okay, I don't think this is a Pokemon fan club. This seems like something else. Sailor Dwayne would like to battle. Ralph gained 150 XP. Ralph gained 207 XP. Yeah, why was I scared earlier? I thought the Pokemon fights in this area would be at least level like 15, but they're like 11 to 14. Ralph gained 247 XP. You defeated Sailor Dwayne. That was a hot battle. I can accept that loss, matey. You got 352 Poké Dollars for winning. Very nice. Ooh, he has a slushy machine. You're scorching hot. Those battles blazed. I'm more than ch I'm not saying that. As thanks for showing me your your hot streak, I want you to take these. It's half a dozen bottles of soda pop. You obtain the soda pop. Ooh, let's see what soda pop is. Soda pop, a fizzy soda drink that restores 60 HP. Yo, that's pretty sick. Good thing I came here. That's crazy. Oh, Seashore House. May hot battles rage on hot sands. A place for hot trainers. That one butte was pretty banging, though. Okay, so I guess I fought most of the fights here anyway. <laughs> I thought there'd be more, but... I guess I'm fine. On to the city! Slate Port Market. Unique items found nowhere else. Welcome. How may I serve you? Azuro doll. Place it on a mat or desk. Meryl doll. Or Skitty doll. They're so expensive! $3,000? I told y'all plushies were so overpriced. The game mimics reality. I assume those are just co cosmetic. Whenever I visit here, I get carried away and buy too much. <laughs> Woman be shopping, am I right? <laughs> I'm the energy guru. I'll go for it and sell what you need. Protein. Raises the base attack stat of one Pokemon. Base defense. Base speed. Base... Special defense, special attack, HP up. $9,000 for HP up? Oh my god! There's gotta be a way to make more money in this game. Oh, you're Curlia. You have to go for it a little harder. If you do, I'll give your Pokemon something nice. Huh? Flush? So I gotta level up my Curlia. Got it. Oh, look at this! The seaweed you can get around these parts is fresh and full of life! 
Why, it looks like it can even rear up an attack. Okay. Shopping where you can breathe the scent of the ocean. Sleepboard is such a wonderful place. Do you know this TM secret power? Our group, we love the TM secret power. One of our members will give it to you. Come back and show me if you get it. We'll accept you as a member and sell you good stuff in secrecy. So they're a mafia group. If a wild Pokemon gets hurt, it heals itself by chewing on berries. Did you know that? Somebody saw that and got the idea of making medicine from berries. Did you know that? To turn berries into medicine, they must be crushed into powder. Did you know that? You seem to have an intersect in... You seem to have an interest in berries. I've got something good for someone like you. You obtained the powder jar. Wait, she just gave me drugs. I've recently had machines installed at Pokemon Centers for crushing berries. The berry crush machines are at the direct corner upstairs. Did you know? Could you... you hey. Did you know? Could you make berry powder for me using those machines? I can make you all sorts of medicine if you bring me lots of berry powder. Okay. Berry Crush. Pressing speed rankings. Wait, what? <laughs> There's a mashing leaderboard. Okay. Lots of good things there. Any Pokemon you get in a trade, you can't change this nickname. The original trainer's love for that Pokemon is in the nickname. Dang. So if somebody names their Pokemon Poopy, I can't change its name. Where the water is clean, the fruits of bountiful harvest gather. And where people gather, a market soon starts. That is how a town is born and grows. Recently, a battle tent was built in Slateport. Gyms are fun, but the battle tent's awesome in its own way. You should go find tough Pokemon for the battle tent. My Pokemon has a hasty nature. It has higher speed compared to my other Pokemon. Maybe their nature has something to do with the stats gain of Pokemon. You're a trainer, aren't you? Since you came to Slateport City, you must be going to the battle tent. No, I came here to deliver the goods. Do you know what they do with old ships that become too creaky to sail? They sink them in the sea so they become habitats for Pokemon. I think that's more like littering, I'll be honest. That sounds like it would destroy a coral if not grow one. The light of the lighthouse reaches dozens of miles away. I wonder if it doesn't start all Pokemon in the sea. It's kind of wild talking to all the NPCs, because it seems like all the NPCs love Pokemon. It's such a it's such a stark contrast to like our reality, because everybody hates the Earth here. They won't say it, but all their actions prove it, you know? The sea is just so vast. Could the sea have been made by the tears shed by Pokemon? It's like that one Pokemon movie where Ash dies. Spoiler! Oh, this place is huge. The seasons, the weather, where the moon sits in the sky. These and other conditions make the sea change its expression. That's right. The sea is like a living thing. I get seasick real easily, so I get to help out here instead. I wanted to see if I could press any of the buttons. <laughs> nope. Where could Captain Steven, or where could where could have Cap? Where could Captain Stern have gone off to? 
Could you go find Captain Stern and deliver that parcel to him? I, I am looking for him, sir. I'm looking. Designing a large ship is more like making a big building than putting together a transportation vehicle. Oh, that's cool. This is like an open area, so you can see downstairs. Don't you think it's strange that a ship made of heavy iron floats? It floats because of a principle called buoyancy. I'm learning. When I was a child, I visited the museum often. I used to dream about the mysteries of the sea after seeing the exhibits. Stern, the fellow who built the museum also happens to be the leader of an undersea exploration team. So everyone calls him Captain Stern. Imagine he's in the museum the whole time. Imagine. <gasps> Deep aqua! Welcome to the Oceanic Museum. The entrance fee is fifty dollars. Would you like to enter? Yeah. Please enjoy yourself. Okay. <laughs> is, is nobody phased by the enemy being here? We were told to assemble here, so we did. But our boss, the linchpin, isn't here. I, that's why I knew I saw them outside. We, Team Aqua, exist for the good of all. Wait, are they Antifa? <laughs> I didn't have $50, so it took a long time getting by the receptionist. Oh. Ah, oh, what are you doing here? Me? I'm the Team Aqua member you thought before, remember? Back in Rustoff Tunnel? Here, take this. You have to forgive me. You obtained the TM-46. Thank you, sir. That TM, it suits you more than it does me. Hope I never see you again. <laughs> Wait, is he like a good guy? What do you give me? TM-46. Thief. While attacking, it may steal the foe's hell item. <laughs> I'm not a thief. You're the thief. When I learn here, I can put to use on nefarious deeds. If our goons didn't bungle things in Rustboro City, we wouldn't be here. If I ripped off the stuff here, would it make me rich? Yes, if you're looking for Stern, that would be me. <gasps> ah, those must be the parts I ordered from Mr. Stone of Devon. Thank you, that's great. We can prepare for our expedition now. <gasps> Uh-oh. <laughs> Hold it. We'll take those parts. What? Who are you people? We are Team Aqua. Our boss wants those parts. Shut your yap and fork them over. Team Aqua Grunt would like to battle. Ooh, Carvana. Level 15. <gasps> oh, no. Psychic does not... Oh, yeah, because it's dark, technically. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. <laughs> um... Uh oh. Hmm. 
Dark is not effective against fighting or fire. Let's try a double kick. Super effective, so fighting is good against dark. One hundred forty-one XP for both your Pokemon. You defeated Team Aqua Grunt. Ah, kid beat me. You got three hundred Poké Dollars for winning. Do looks like a middle schooler with a mohawk. You want to hear something funny? There was one kid in my high school. He looked super edgy. He had a mohawk that was like almost a foot tall, and he did that shit every day. And I think near the end of the year, senior year, he just cut it. I can't believe you're at 40 hours. 40 hours, only two gems, Omega lol. Disaster. The boss is going to be furious. Hmm, sniveling wimp. Let me take care of this. Uh oh. At least it wasn't a double battle. I would have gotten cooked if it was a double battle. Team Aqua Grant would like to battle. He sent out a Zubat. Yo! Why did that work on Zubin? Why is it super effective? I thought Psychic didn't work on Dark. Maybe Poison? Ralph gained 162 XP. Carbona. Yeah, I have to change to fighting. Double kick. Full Carvana Fainting. Buskin gained 264 XP. You defeated Team Aqua Grunt. What? I lost two? You got 280 Poké Dollars for winning. Now what? If we don't get the parts, we're in for it. Erg, I didn't count on being metal by some Erg, I didn't count on being metal with by some meddling kid. Uh oh. I came to see what was taking so long to snatch some parts, and you simps are held up by a mere child. We are Team Aqua, and we love the sea. And I'm Team Aqua's leader, Archie. What makes you want to interfere with us? No. You can't be. You're not what a Team Magma, are you? Wait, that can't be right. You're not dressed for the part. Pokemon people. Well, life depends on the sea. So Team Aqua is dedicated to the expansion of the sea. Don't you agree? What are we doing is a magnificent undertaking. Ah, oh, fine. You're still too young to understand our noble objective. But I warn you. Don't ever... Consider interfering with our plans again. The consequences will cost you dearly. Don't you forget it. You're... Ah, okay. You're peacing. Anyway, that was a tense situation. Thank you for saving us. Ah, yes. I almost forgot that you even brought the parts from Devon. You handed over the Devon goods. Oh, whoops, there's no time to lose. We have to set out on our ocean floor expedition really soon. Thanks again, but now we gotta go. Feel free to wander around and check out our facilities, though. Did he heal me? He did, he's so kind. 
Okay, I delivered the goods. Not the drugs. That team aqua fight had me shaking a little bit. Because... I only got psychic types. Oh my god, this playground man. Huh? I'm sure I met you somewhere before. Have I introduced myself to you? If not, my name's Scott. I just saw Team Aqua run away from here just like they were stung. Let me guess. You drove them away? Hmm. Maybe, just maybe. This trainer. Alright. I think you're gonna become a good friend. So let's register each other in our Pokénevs. Registered this Scott person in the Pokénev. What I'd like to do is tag along with you, but I do want to keep an eye on the talents of other people too. So we all, so we have to roam other towns a bit more. Be seeing you, Peason. He's a stalker. He's a grocery stalker. I don't like him. The Endless Sea Sustains All Life, Oceanic Museum. I'm gonna- oh wait, he healed me. Okay. I'm going to explore the rest of the city, and then we'll go back to Rustboro and get XP share. The market does have some interesting merchandise, but there are some items you can only get at a Pokemart. A great ball is better than a Pokeball at catching Pokemon. With this, I should be able to get that elusive Pokemon. Okay, well, great balls don't work on stupid Sableyes. I need to buy, like, two or maybe three more great balls. Because I think I only have three in my inventory. And we're heading to a new area soon. Pokemon Fan Club, calling all fans of Pokemon. I am a Pokemon fan. Oh, there's so many Pokemon. Oh, Azumarill? <laughs> My Pokemon totally rules. It's cooler than any Pokemon. Wait, what does he say? I was living off with a swagger in my step. Like, a, like that when the chairman chewed me out. That took the swag out of my step. If you'd like, I'll teach the move Pokemon. If you'd like, I'll teach the. If you'd like, I'll teach the move Swagger to a Pokemon of yours. Sure. Oh, he said only once. What? No? Can't you get into the spirit of things? Only once. That's why, sir. <gasps> that was giddy. Oh wow! It's plain to see that you lavish your love on your Curlia. Okay. It's named Ralph. Can I ask you a favor? I'm a TV reporter. I'm running a survey on Pokemon. Would you be willing to answer a few questions for me? Oh, why, uh, yes. Great, thank you. Okay, here goes. I just need quick answers, okay? When you first met Curlia, what did you feel? How would you describe your feelings at the time? Okay, find words to describe your feelings right now. <laughs> voices. Adore. I love Curlia. Okay, that makes sense. The next question might be a little on the tough side. Here goes. What do Pokemon mean to you? Lifestyle. Pokemon are my dream. That'd be cute. Habit. Pokemon are my life. <laughs> Pokemon is love. Pokemon is life. It's a legit quiz. Yeah, I'm scared. I don't want to fail. She said it's going on TV. I see. Hmm. Okay. Thanks for helping me out. It was fun and enlightening chatting with you. 
It's possible that our interview will end up on TV. Tune in and check. Okay, that's all. Bye-bye. I'm gonna be famous. And if you want to see me become famous, follow the channel. Because, guys, we are another 30 minutes in the stream. So, if you're new here, click that follow button. You get cool emotes and you get to tap and chat. Turn that heart button purple. Wait, this is new lore. If you keep letting a Pokemon faint in battle, it'll come to resent it. Soon, it'll become less trusting of the trainer. In other words, it certainly won't like you very much. Well, in this run, if they faint, they die, so I just kill it. <laughs> I am the chairman of the Pokemon Fan Club. Being the chairman, I'm naturally the most important. No one can best me when it comes to raising Pokemon. No one. Well, let me tell you about Pokemon contests. They're events where one can show Pokemon for the world to see. However, they're held in far off town, so I cannot participate often enough. That is why we gather here to show off our Pokemon, and we have others show us theirs. Okay. I love seeing Pokemon that love their trainers. Pokemon are very sensitive to the feelings of their trainers. If you treat your Pokemon with love and care, they'll love you back. When your Pokemon grow to love you, please come show me. Your Pokemon really adores you. For you. The most compassionate trainer, a gift from the fan club. You obtain the Soothe Bell. Okay. I guess my Pokemon loves me and I love my Pokemon. Soothe Bell. A hold item that calms spirits and fosters friendship. Oh, that's so cute. What does that do, though? I know with the Eevee, you can get an Umbreon or Espeon, depending if you, like, befriend it at night or day. I think that was in this gen, or the one prior. Surely I'll catch an Eevee. Do Pokemon enjoy having Adam Hughes on them? Mine acted really happy when I gave it some protein. You know, I need protein too. I'm almost done with mine for the day. If you want to change your Pokemon's nickname, you'll have to get the name Raider to help you. Nah, I like- I don't like changing names. That's why if I get married, I'm keeping my last name. Name Raider's house. Pokemon nicknames rated. Wait, this is like the first house to have a bed. Hey, <laughs> hi. I'm the Name Raider. I'm the fortune teller of names. Uh oh. What happened to my camera? Uh oh. When did it go out? <laughs> Shit. Rut row. Oh, wait, it must have gone out because I just did the protein bit. Okay. I'm fixing it. I'm fixing it. I'm back. Okay, it just went out. <laughs> uh, editor, if you can't cut it out, oh well. I, I, I'm the name raider. I'm the fortune teller of names. I shall be pleased to rate your Pokemon's nickname. Which Pokemon nickname should I critique? Ralph. Hmm, Ralph is it? That is quite a fine name you bestowed, but what say you? If I were to suggest a slightly better name. Yeah, what is it? Oh, good. Then what shall the new nickname be? No, I don't want a new one. No, I, I can't go back. I have to... It's <laughs> so dumb. I thought he would give me a name, not that I type one in. I'm gonna type the same thing. I'm not changing Ralph's name. Ralph. My goat. Done. From now on, this Pokemon shall be known as Ralph. It looks no different from before, and yet, 
This is vastly superior. How fortunate for you. Yeah, because now it has your blessing, sir. I don't think I'm going to change any Pokemon names. I think I'm fine. I'm going to compete in the battle tent too. But before that, I need to catch some Pokemon. Battle tent, sleep port site. Find it. The ultimate Pokemon. Oh, I'm scared. Oh! Oh, hey! If it isn't Peason! Peason, let me guess. You're going to take the Battle Tent Challenge! Yeah, that's a good idea. That's a really great idea. After all, a tough trainer is the perfect fit for the Battle Tent. Give it your best effort. I I'm scared of this. Forty hours? I know, right? Hi, Bobo. Can we get some yos? Wouldn't it be nice if they had more of a selection? You can battle all you want here, even if you don't have any tough Pokemon. I don't really like bug Pokemon, but maybe I'll try using some for a change of pace. Who knows? I might even get to like them. So, like... I couldn't find myself any Pokemon that were, like, for me. So I figured, like, hey, I should file a complaint to the guy there. And he wouldn't hear me out, like, hey. So, like, total bummer, man. You know? Just, you know, take this. What? Uh oh Why'd my camera go out again? What the hell? What the hell? God damn it. Who hacked me again? What the hell? I'm back. Okay, I don't know how much of that cut out, but... As long as the audio keeps capturing, it's fine. Damn, what the hell? What the hell? Okay, it's fine. You noticing it like the second happens? Okay, good. That's good. Very good. Okay. Wait. I'm rearranging my scenes so I can see my camera overlay a bit better. Okay. Because I am playing from one monitor. You got the TM-41. That's like TM-41, you know. Hey, it's Torment, you hearing me? Like, it won't let the other guy use the same move twice in a row, see? Hey now, you listen here, like, I'm not laying a Torment on you. Okay, that's interesting. Here, my sleep schedule. <laughs> Don't worry, mine's fucked up too. The battle swap rules are listed. Which heading do you want to read? All of them. In a battle swap event, you may use only three Pokemon. Whether you are renting or swapping, your team may not have two or more of the same Pokemon. You may swap Pokemon only with the trainer you have just defeated. You may swap for only those Pokemon used by the beaten trainer. We can trade Pokemon? After every battle you win, you may swap for one of your defeated opponent's Pokemon. You will not be able to swap Pokemon with the third trainer in the event. What? There are two key points to be aware of when swapping Pokemon. First, when swapping, you can't check the stats of the Pokemon you are about to receive. Second, the Pokemon on your team are lined up in sequence, depending on the order in which you rented them. The sequence remains unchanged even when swaps are made. What? The Pokemon of the Slateport Battle Tent are all rentals. All rental Pokemon are kept at level 30. What? What? So... 
Is it trading my Pokemon or the company's Pokemon? I don't want to trade any of my Pokemon. Welcome to the Battle Tent Slateport site. I'm your guide to the Battle Swap Tournament. Would you like to take the Battle Swap Challenge? Info. Here at the Slateport Battle Tent, we hold Battle Swap events using rental Pokemon. First, you'll be loaned three Pokemon specifically for this event. Using the supplied rental Pokemon, you must conduct a single battle. If you win, you are permitted to trade one of your rental Pokemon. Repeat this cycle of battling and trading. If you win three times in a row, you will earn a fine prize. If you want to interrupt your challenge, please save the game. If you don't save before interrupting, you'll be disqualified. Oh, I need to save my game. <laughs> okay, so if it doesn't use my actual Pokemon, then it's fine if my rental Pokemon die. Right? Right? Oh my god, 15 hours. I'll take the challenge! Before you begin your challenge, you need to save data. Is that okay? Yes. Please step this way. First, we will hold your Pokémon for safekeeping. May they choose from our selection of Pokemon. Meteorite Pokemon Soul Rock. Mightyena, Bite Pokemon. Makuhita, Guts Pokemon. Graveler, Rock Pokemon. Nummel, Num, Num Pokemon. Or Plusle, Cheering Pokemon. So I'm gonna go with Pokemon that I haven't played with yet, so let's do Soul Rock. I have a Mightyena. Oh wait, no, I have a Poochyena, but I don't have a Mightyena. I had a Mightyena for round number one for a little while. Makuhita. I have one. Graveler, maybe? I want to do Numble. And then Plusle, because these are Pokemon I haven't seen at all. Yes. Right this way, please. A little petal dance to please you. <laughs> what? <laughs> what is he doing? Swimmer Kendall would like to battle. <laughs> A level 30! Oh my god. Okay, so Wingle is water and flying. Soul Rock is... So it gotta be ground, maybe psychic. Let's see, rock throw, harden. Yeah, psychic, ground. Yeah, I was right, psychic. Uh, water flying. Ground is weak against flying and water, so this is actually a really bad matchup, psychic wave. How you missed? Take the L. Man, this guy's Wingle sucks. Easy. Shroomish. Oh my god, a level 30 Shroomish. That's crazy. Ground may or may not be strong. Again, I don't think it would be strong against Grants. Because grass grows in the ground, so therefore grass is stronger than ground. I'll do Psychic again. Ruh row. I'm not level 30. This is like a battle gym where you rent Pokemon. That did 30 damage. I 
I'll try switch. We have fire, earthquake. Oh, fire! This is strong against grass. No, no mega drain! Do I reset if I lose my Pokemon in this? No, this doesn't count. This is just for fun. <laughs> no! No! <laughs> oh my god, she's dying. Classic, the numb Pokemon being paralyzed. Easy. Nuzleaf, another grass type. <laughs> Numble's oblivious prevents romance. <laughs> Swimmer Kendall. How could you pound me? Okay, why'd you say it like that? Thank you for competing. Let us restore your Pokemon. <gasps> they heal between battles. That's crazy. I'm gonna sweep. The second match is next. Are you ready? <laughs> I can retire. Going on. Before starting the battle, would you like to swap a Pokemon? No. Right this way, please. Your mom loves when I ponder mods? Ban Mac. It's a child. Yeah, yeah. Great whirlpool, isn't it? Tuber Davin. Davin? I've never seen Davin. Tuber Davin would like to battle. A Meryl. Oh, Meryl. Electricity is strong against water. Spark, substitute, quick attack, fake tears. Dark move? Spark. Easy. I know my Pokemon types. And they're paralyzed. Take this L. Your sub ends today. You better resubscribe. If you don't, you're in trouble, Mac. Big trouble. Easy peasy. Lemon squeezy. Tentacool. <laughs> he only chose water types, this dumbass. I mean, it's a child. He doesn't know any better. Plusel is so cool. Kecleon. Oh, this is when the one animated short. Kecleon has gotta be grass, possibly psychic, possibly dark. Switching to Numble. Ew, he's gonna lick me! Ew! Astonish is a dark move. I was right about dark! Oh. The color change made it a fire type. Shit! Okay. Um. 
That's interesting. Okay. Also, you're back in. What was that? The color change made it made it an electric type. So I guess whatever move you hit it with, it copies the perks. Quick attack, normal. Made it a normal- okay, so... If you fight a Kecleon, you just have to make sure your Pokemon you're fighting with has two different types of moves. Okay. So you can't really spam just one move. Get a heal, that's not fair. Stardew Valley with mods is so much better. I've said this before, but if you have to play a game with mods to think it's a good game, then it's not a good game. Erm. Um. Tuber dabbing. Don't get beat up in that whirlpool. Two out of three. Thank you for competing, let us. Thank you for competing, let us restore your Pokemon. The third match is next. Are you ready? Yes, I'm ready. No swapping. Right this way, please. I just adore your tough look. Wait, is she flirty? Pokefan Jene would like to battle. Sandshrew. Oh, the Sandshrew is so cute! He was patting his belly. I love him. Okay, I know Electric is weak against ground. Soul Rock has Psychic. He's just like me for real, for real. On oh God, on oh God. Okay, ground is weak against water. I don't have any water types. Fire might work, but I assume fire is not strong against ground because dirt literally puts out fire. So I'm gonna do a Psychic move. And it missed. Okay, so that made ground moves miss with levitate. I'm learning so much with this battle mode. Oh, I want a new sand shrew, it's so cute. Cacnea. Grass and poison. So, Nummel, you're in. The sandstorm brood. The sandstorm rages. Sunny day. I'll try this. Destiny bond? Pokagnia is trying to take its foe with it. That's when it goes in the air and it does a Superman slam. The sunlight got bright. That'll increase... The sunlight is strong. That'll increase fire type moves, I think.
And he's burned. <laughs> I don't get what the Destiny Bond does yet. Uh-oh. Wait, it just kills me? What? <laughs> okay, it either just- if you die- if he dies, you die, or he just takes the same amount of damage as you give. Okay, dude. Okay, dude. That's crazy. A Wismer, electric slash dark. Or no, no, no. Wismer is normal slash dark, I think. Or no, it's fairy, technically. Plusle is buffeted by the sandstorm. Shit. Oh, the sandstorm is still going on. Uh. I have normal moves too. Let's try spark. A critical hit? No. You defeated Pokefan Janae. You're a mean and awful traitor. Oh my god, stop! You know what to expect when you walked in here. Congratulations, you've won three straight matches. I will return your Pokemon in exchange for a rental Pokemon. I must also save your event results. Please wait. In recognition of your three-win streak, we award you this prize. You received the prize full heal. We look forward to your next visit. Nice. Okay, that was actually kind of fun. Like, I actually got to learn some different type advantages. I got to battle for fun and not have to stress about killing Pokemon. That was pretty cool. I think maybe I'll just come back to this area if I'm, if I'm stuck on type advantages. But that was pretty sick and wicked. That was actually fun. Man, playing Pokemon normally is just fun. Guys, we're an hour in the stream. Or three hours, sorry. So, it's time for me to run some ads. You can avoid that ad by subscribing for $4.99, just $5. Skip your coffee and get ad free viewing all month long. Or, you can link your Amazon Prime to your Twitch and hashtag sub for free of Prime. Click subscribe, see if there is a Prime sub available. Click no. And if you subscribe, you can kill my Pokemon. But also, don't. Get some water, get a snack. I'll see some of you guys in a few. I think I'm gonna have a snack. I have apple chip today. Oh yeah, these are definitely fried. <laughs> no way these are baked. really sweet. I don't know what brand these are. They're really good though. Yeah, let's get out of here. The battle time is pretty fun. Hey there, Peason. It's me, Elliot. I just took a shot at catching this Wingo, but it took off. I came out so close, too. It spoiled my day. Alright, see ya. Elliot is so bad at catching Pokemon. Ooh, I'm just butched. I hacked over from Mauville City, but boy, this city's huge. If I'd have known this, I would have ridden my bike here. A bike, you say? Hmm. It's 
Slate Port Harbor. The ferry SS title is under construction in the shipyard. Service is scheduled to begin shortly. Oh yeah, they're building the ship now. A journey to the bottom of the sea. And what would it be like? I'd love to go deep underwater like that someday. I wanted to go with Captain Stern on the ocean floor exploration, but the sub's too small for me. If I squeezed in, there wouldn't be any room for the captain. Yeah, that's not very cool, Nintendo. Fat jokes aren't funny. You're supposed to be woke. I beg your pardon. You're looking for a ship. I'm sorry, the ferry service isn't available at present. Dang. Okay, well, I explored all of Sleepport City. There is no gym. So, let us see what is up ahead. Route 110. Ooh, KS Essel. Seaside Cycling Road. Bikes? What should I choose? Maybe a beeline for Mauville on the cycling road or take the low road and look for Pokemon? Sorry, you can't walk on the cycling road. It's too dangerous. Please come back with a bike. Oh, on! I can't buy a bike here? That's so rude. Okay. Now I know I have it. But I think we can go get the XP share now. So we gotta go back to Respiro City, talk to the Devon Corp leader. And then we're gonna start gaming. This does feel like a classic RPG where you just are this does feel like a classic RPG where you're just going back and forth, back and forth. But you know what? I don't mind it. The map doesn't seem too big. To Petalberg, sir. We're off to see the Devon Gore, the wonderful leader of Devon. <laughs> A plus song, thank you. Six XP. How does how is that worth forty six XP? That seems like a lot. Before the Pokemon were only worth twenty. Oops. Another Wurmple.
the moment of truth. Sir, I delivered the goods. You delivered my letter. Thank you kindly. This is my way of thanking you. It should help you, a trainer. You obtained XP share. Let's go, finally. Guys, XP share 80%? 41 hours and 15 minutes. A Pokemon holding that XP share will give some of the XP points from battle. It'll get XP even if it didn't actually battle. I would say XP share is quite useful for raising weak Pokemon. So it's a held item. XP share, a hold item that gets XP points from battles. So XP share is not for the whole party. It's just for one Pokemon that holds the XP share. I mean, that's fine. I thought it'd be for the whole party. You just pass it around to your Pokemon that need to be leveled? Okay, that's what I figured you have to do, but I thought it'd be for the whole party. probably advantageous to give it to a Pokemon that can't do moves at all at the beginning. Huh, I thought it would level up all my Pokemon. That's fine. Okay. Well, let's make our way back to Slateport City, and then we'll explore Route 110 and see what there is there. We continue on. Yeah, I was thinking Magikarp too. Miss Click. Oh! <laughs> Let's see, we got Tentacool, Talo, Magikarp, Sea Dot, Cascoon, Silcoon, Makuhita, Zubat, Goldeen, Skitty, Ningira, Wismer, Eren, and Geodude. I know Magikarp evolves into Gyarados, which is like one of the stronger Pokemon. I know that. I don't think. Beautifly, Beautifly, or the Moth Pokemon are very strong. So, like, I would still want to level them up for fun, but since there's only one XP share, I should probably bring a Magikarp. And then... Tentacool, Talo... I should probably be, probably be leveling up Eren as well. So, I think I'm gonna put Abra in the box for now. We're gonna keep Ralph in, because Ralph is my goat. Combuskin, we should keep leveling up gradually, too. Shroomish, I will hold on to. That way, Shroomish can help catch new Pokemon. Zigzagoon to keep picking up items. Okay. Ralph is so pretty. I know. I love Ralph. I'm so glad I caught a Ralph early on in the run. Oh, I want to. I want to level up my Skiddy too. Okay. The plan is. The plan is in action. We're gonna go to Route 110 and level up. Cause I don't know where the next gym is gonna be. Well, let's actually look at the map. So 
sleep port city, and then you work your way... Oh! It goes back to Old Dale Town, or you can go up to Mallville City. Verdan Turf Town. Verdan Turf is after the tunnel, I believe. I thought your starter died. Um, it did, but I did my one single revive. We talked about it last night. If you watched the stream, you would know. Whoa, I didn't mean to zoom in. That was scary. Okay, well, let's make our way to Route 110. And give... XP share to Magikarp. Magikarp. <laughs> Actually, since we're going through grass patches, let's put in Combuskin just to make it quick. Yeah, you can only give XP share to one Pokemon. I thought it'd be for the whole party, but you know what? One is better than none. That was a lot of work for just one held item, I'll be honest. Also, guys, I have to use the restroom. I forgot. <laughs> I had to go during the break, but I blanked and forgot. So, pause in the timer. Okay, I'm writing down the timestamp just to be safe. These old games didn't play around. Yeah, they're for gamers, I guess. 41, 21, 20, 79. Guys, I'm gonna use the restroom. Put your favorite emote in the chat. No bad words, okay? I just realized May is just staring at her reflection. <laughs> How morbid. Okay, I'm back in. I think it's interesting that your favorite emote is Peace I Do Gasp. Now, of all my emotes, is that one really the best? I think my favorite emote has to be Peace I Do Punch. 
The foreshortening is crazy on it. I just picked it that one time. Oh. Dang. Why'd you lie? I told you to put your favorite and then you put your non-favorite. That's lying. You know what I think about liars. Will we get the new animated one soon? Yes. Now, like, keep in mind, soon can mean anything. Soon is one of those subjective words. But we do know that Twitch is probably going to increase the sub price in the States, so... I did tell you guys, new emotes whenever they increase the sub price. What? I know! Well... They, they increased it for some of the European audience, and then they alluded in, like, the most recent Twitch patch notes that they, there will be other price increases in other countries, which is, like, why would they not increase it in the States, you know? That's, like, where the biggest part of the audience is. I assume they would only raise it by, like, a dollar, hopefully. Imagine they raise it by five dollars. <laughs> That'd be crazy. But that's why I keep telling y'all, if you have a Prime sub, a Prime sub is literally free. All you gotta do is link your Amazon Prime to your Twitch, and you can sub for free. I'm not joking when I say that. Save that five bucks if you can every month. Because you never know, what if they take away Prime too? <gasps> Respectfully, if they raised it by five dollars, I would have to unsub from everyone. Yeah, I don't think they would do ten dollars, because Twitch Turbo is... I think 12 or $13. So th there's no way they would make it like $10 because then it would compete with a Twitch Turbo Sub. But you guys, if you're a brokey and you want to support all your favorite streamers, I gotta do is become a Twitch Turbo Sub because we still get ad revenue from you. Like even if you don't watch Twitch ads, if you're a Twitch Turbo Sub, we get like a, we still get an ad split. Uh, Twitch Turbo is like YouTube Premium, so you get to watch Twitch ad-free for every single channel. No pre-rolls, no nothing. Also, if you're a streamer and you're a Twitch Turbo subscriber, then your streams are on your channel page for two months instead of one week. I know saying this will kill my sub count, but you know what? I'd rather you guys save that five bucks a month, you know? Get Twitch Turbo. I would say if you subscribe to more than four channels, just to not watch ads on their channels, get a Twitch Turbo Sub. Because subscribing to not get ads on a channel is dumb, in my opinion. I subbed a five channel just for no ads. Yeah, honey, get a Twitch Turbo. I think there's a command for it. But still, use your Amazon Prime support. Give your $5 to streamers you genuinely like. Or like their emotes. Oh, I do have a command. Ballin' on a budget. Yeah, click that link, Vic. Get a Twitch Turbo Tub. Can cancel all your subs. I'm being serious. <laughs> okay, Route 110. First time seeing it. Let's see if there's any new Pokemon. Pokeball. Minum was caught. Okay, I don't know if Minum is common or not, but that makes me so happy. 
Minum, sharing Pokemon. At a meeting of Pokemon academics, it was announced that si it was announced that simultaneous exposure to electricity from a Plusle and a Minel Minum will promote circulation and boost vitality. Wait, I need that. I need that. My feet go numb all the time. Give a nickname to Minum. Okay, what can I call him? Mini. Hashtag not sponsored by Disney. Our first catch of the day, peace log day six. Everybody welcome Minnie to the team. Aw, oh, that was so sick. Adding that one to my list. Nothing will destroy my happiness now. Fuji and I hate you. Oh, wait, why am I? Why am I? Why is Combuskin my party leader? Me all of the day. I just noticed how long Combuskin claws are. That's crazy. Magikarp gained 47 XP. Okay, so the XP share splits the po the XP earned in a battle. That's fine. I kind of want to get Twitch Turbo just for the custom chat color. Dude, I love- look at this, look at this. I have a Seafoam Green and I stand out so much. I love it. Also, you get custom Twitch emotes, too, if you're a Twitch Turbo sub. Well, Pokemon was released at 5. Oh, um... I didn't release any Pokemon today. The Pokemon released were... Wormpool. Two days ago. Wingle, Lotad, Meryl, and Slackoth. So I didn't release any Pokemon today. I just didn't update my counter last night. I forgot. That's why I ended stream and it said 4 Pokemon lost. No, you're fine, Bailey. I just didn't update the counter last night. I was bad. How many Pokemon do you have to have when you'd have to reset again? Okay, so to ex to clarify the reset rule is if my whole party gets wiped in a fight, you guys cannot kill all six of my Pokemon because that's not how it works. If you guys give subs or subscribe, you kill my most recent caught Pokemon. So not- the most recent Pokemon are not in my party. So you guys cannot- you cannot end the stream right now unless you guys gift like 20 Pokemon worth of subs. So that's like literally hundreds. So, and let's be honest, don't say scamming. Look at look at how many resets are on the screen. <laughs> look, two of which were my own doing. One was from because I didn't save the game properly. So let's be honest. I'm gonna fucking reset on my own. So don't complain, don't say scam. I think I'm ready for peace and W's. Thank you, Billy. My one fan in the chat room right now. Okay, what am I doing? Um, I need to rearrange my party. W chat room. Hmm. Doing a Nuzlocke for your post for your first Pokemon game is crazy. It's technically my fourth Pokemon game, but yeah, it is crazy. I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> but doesn't it make it exciting? Okay, so since now that I know that the XP, XP share basically like halves the XP you gain from a battle, it's probably in my best interest to just have my stronger Pokemon be the party leader, that way I don't waste a turn by swapping in and out because then I would split my XP earned by three and that would take more time anyway. So I'm gonna give Combuskin as the party leader for now. I wanna get, okay, so in order to do the next gym battle, I would need to be level 
Because it increases five levels over time, so the last gym was level 18. I need to be level 23 for my Pokemon. So I'm just going to keep Combuskin and Ralph as my party leaders and just gradually level everybody else up with um, XP share. I also should find out where the next gym is, actually. Let's do that. We'll come back to 110. Let's keep exploring. <gasps> oh! It's this guy! Oh, Peason! Imagine seeing you here. Now, where might my Brendan be? Oh, we haven't seen Brendan in a while, actually. Oh, I see. You two are running separately. Well, that's fine. Oh, yes. I heard that your Pokenab had the match call system installed. Well, then, I should register you and my Pokenab as well. That way, even when we're apart, I can rate your Pokedex any time. Peace in. Please keep an eye out for my Brendan. Well, I'd better get going. See you again, peace in. Why is everybody stalking me? I hate this. Just work at the grocery store. Oh, that, that's a double battle right there. <laughs> you route 110. If you turn left, you go Route 103, the start of the game. Okay, to avoid this double battle, we're going to talk to this lady first. <laughs> I would go anywhere to show off my delightful Pokemon! I dodged this double battle like a pro. Pokefan Isabel would like to battle. A plus oh, So cute! You probably love Pokemon Mystery Dungeon. Is that the one? Is that the one I played on stream the demo? Uh oh. Oh, it's just paralysis. Okay. I got scared. Double kick. Pokemon Rumble? Possibly. I've seen some gameplay of Rumble, I think. The Muskin gained 180 XP and grew to level 18. Let's go! Magikarp grew to level 7. Or Magikarp. <laughs> okay, I need. <laughs> Is saying Maga over and over again gonna get me, like, in trouble on YouTube? Like, you know how on YouTube videos it'll have, like, a little pin highlight at the bottom of the video saying, like, This is from a medical professional, or this may contain misinformation. Like, if I keep saying Magikarp, will, I, will my video get in trouble? Pokemon Mystery Dungeon is mostly story. Hmm. I'm only gonna do one Pokemon game a year, so Pokemon fans, just calm down. Oranberry. My glasses are crooked. <laughs> you should do another car opening too? You think I have the money for that? No. Also, hmm, how do I say this? I think card openings is like the most low effort content you can get because all you do is you open the bag you put it to the camera and then you pog you're like oh my god it's like literally such brain dead content to consume magic art grew to level eight how many subs for another pokemon card opening um okay how much do pokemon cards cost Oh dear, this won't do. You got 1,120 Poké Dollars! I'm rich. That wasn't close to what I could do to show off my Pokémon. I'll have you as my captive audience as often as possible. One cute Pokémon help each other. You won't see a more adorable sight. I 
don't say no sub goal for Pokemon card opening. I'm fine. Oh my god, he has a kid! That's so cute! Pokefan Caleb would like to battle. Oh, that's so cute. It's because, like, I'm fine with doing things on stream multiple times. Like, how I redid the don't drink and don't drink and drift stream. But that was, like, a two-year gap, and I, I legit had to refilm that idea because the, the actual stream VOD was fucked. But, like, what else can I do to make Pokemon card openings different? Eat the cards? I don't... You might get in trouble for that. Like... Because you're not supposed to do things that can harm you. Like, on stream or on YouTube, right? And just in general, you should not do things that can harm you or get you sick. And... Like, I think it's fine if you eat one card. You eat one card, right? But... Would the whole stream just be eating every single card? <laughs> We're eating every single- okay, we're eating every single rare card in this pack would be kind of a funny idea. Just one card as a little treat. Dot. Magikarp grew to level 9. Let's freaking go. Have you no compassion or pity? <laughs> what? Whoa, calm down. I just beat you at Pokemon. You got 1,120 Poké Dollars for winning. You know who else can be winning in the chat? New followers, because guys, we are. Another 30 minutes in the stream, so if you're new here, click the follow button. You get cool emotes and you get to type in chat. Isn't that pretty cool? So, click that heart button and turn it purple. Whoa. I love overpasses. I think they are such a technical miracle. Okay, this, this guy is just doing circles. Like the Post Malone song. I don't have a bike, so I'll take a leisure walk on the low road. You take the low road, I take the high road. Three steps right and two steps up to reach the wondrous trick house. One, one, two, three, one, two. <gasps> no way! You're being watched. It's a scroll. Is like, is this one of those social experiments? Huh? Grr! How did you know I concealed myself beneath this desk? You're sharp! Behold! For I am the greatest living mystery of a man in all of Hoenn! They call me the Trick Master! <laughs> Glad to meet you! You, you've come to challenge my trick house, haven't you? That's why you're here, isn't it? Yes, it is! Consider your challenge accepted! Enter through the scroll there and let your challenge commence. I shall be waiting in the back. What is this guy up to? This is like that Wonka. It's like the Wonka house. Okay, let's go in. There is a big hole behind the scroll. Want to go in? Sure. Why not? What if it's one of those corn videos? Meg, how old is May? Stop! Mods! Uh-oh. I'll hack and slash my way to victory with the cut we just learned!
Uh oh. Last Sally would like to battle. Oh, dish. It's super effective. You defeated last Sally. Why are you so serious? You got 256 poke dollars for winning. You received an antidote from Snazzy. Oh, I should probably heal Combuskin. I was just in the items tab. Why did I move? <laughs> there we go. Combustion's ready now. I continue on. Oh yeah, Snazzy has cut, so I have to keep Snazzy on my team anyway. I'm gonna go up. I assume there's one section in this house that'll be a double battle, so I have to avoid it. I gotta play smart. Why is there a tissue box? <laughs> Maybe it is one of those corn videos. <laughs> I like the music in this house though. Just who is the trick master? Last Robin would like to battle. Oh, a skitty. I don't want to kill a skitty. Ralph grew to level 22. Magikarp grew to level 10. Okay, the XP share is pretty nice because now I don't have to swap out my first... I don't have to swap out a Pokemon for the first turn. That's bad. The leech seed will last the rest of the fight, I think. Meryl. I'll keep Ralph in. Ralph should be fine. I could have swapped in Ronnie, but I didn't want to. Yeah, Ralph has enough health. They'll be fine. Yeah. 
Easy. You defeated the last Robin. I lost while I was lost in thought. You got 224 Poké Dollars for winning. What's this tissue box about? You found a scroll. You memorized the secret code written on the scroll. Dang, I love having photographic memory. I wandered into this weird house by accident. Youngster Eddie would like to battle. Easy. Your Pokemon gained 90 XP. I think it's silly whenever trainers have the same or multiple the same Pokemon. It's like, why would you not want a more versatile team? I get that you like zigzagoons, but you don't need two. The only reason why I personally would have multiple of the same Pokemon is because I would give, for example, one Six Zigun and Everstone, and then let the other one evolve to a Linoon. But otherwise, I'm not gonna keep them both the same. Your Pokemon gained 102 XP. You defeated Young Sturetti! And now I've lost! You got 256 Poké Dollars for winning. We continue on. Oh, that's the exit. I want to get the Pokeball. I can't run in here. Peason found one orange male. So I can mail all of your mothers the love letter. Mm-hmm. Let's get out of here. You wrote down the secret code on the door. Trick Master is fabulous! The lock clicked open. Ah, you made it to me! Hmm, you're sharp. It took me all night to plant all those trees. <laughs> You're almost my equal in greatness by one, two, three, four, five, six places. Fine, you've earned this reward. You obtained the rare candy. Ooh, thank you. Scrum that smug smirk from your face. It's much too early to think you've won. I'll make no tricks to stump you, I will. You may mock me only when you're done. Come back for the next exciting installment. Oh, back to the start. Okay, let's get out of here. He seems like a playground man and I don't like that. The planning permissions must have been so difficult. No way he had a permit to build all that. Ain't no way. Route 103. This looks different. Have I been here before?
Maybe just the opposite end? Because 103 is where C dot is, I think, right? That would have been a double battle. I ain't doing that. Did my guitar's wailing draw you in? No, it did not, sir. Yo! Holy moly! Guitar's Marco would like to battle. Uh oh. If it's soundproof, I don't know if Psychic will work. Oh, it does. Okay. Easy. Your Pokemon gained 165 XP. Magikarp grew to level 11. You defeated Guitarist Marco. My one-man show is ruined. You got 480 Poké Dollars for winning. Okay, I need to double check Ralph's PP. 11. Oh, that's a lot of moves. Okay, it's fine. So I might have to go back to the Poké Center and heal. Whoa, how'd you get into a space this small? Black Belt Rept would like to battle. A fighting type, huh? <laughs> Your Pokemon gained 139 XP. You defeated Black Belt Rhett. Whoa, that kid can rock. You got 480 Poké Dollars for winning. You found one PP up. <laughs> I'm so immature. I should be leveling up Combuskin for these fights, actually. So we'll make Combuskin the party leader. Oop, dodged! Did you feel a tug of our soul-soothing fragrance? Huh? That's a weird sales pitch. Aroma Lady Daisy <laughs> would like to battle. Aroma Lady? That's such a weird title. <laughs> it's like, yes. I'm an aroma lady. I like to harass children at the mall and force them to try my samples. Of what? I won't tell. Well, that did no damage to me. Damn. Sounds like me at work when I'm on the fragrance counter. I hate you. I hate the fragrance workers. I have asthma, or had asthma, so like, the perfumes make me like, have an attack sometimes. There was one time, I remember in sixth grade, I had an inhaler from like, first to second grade, so like, I've been asymptomatic for like, nearly 20 years. So, there was one teacher, she had this really strong perfume, and she was walking past me in the gym, because we had to line up in the morning in elementary. And she walked past me. I almost passed out. Her perfume... Dude, it knocked me out almost. I'm really sensitive to floral scents. 
and I always feel so awkward because you know the pe there's people at the mall who like stand outside the store and they handle samples and they're like take it and I'm like no they're like take it and I'm like no but usually I just say when I walk past I'm just like I have asthma and then they leave me alone it's pretty chill I like playing that card oh Rosalia But no, I'm kidding. If you do your job, you do your job. Wow. Holy moly. Rosalia. The teacher nearly won it KO'd you. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Honestly, one swift kick would have one hit KO'd me. I was a scrawny little sixth grader. Like, I was short, but I was tubby. Your Pokemon gained 228 XP. Kamuskin grew to level 19. Let's go. Magikarp grew to level 12. You defeated Aroma Lady Daisy. You weren't led astray by our Aroma. You got 560 Poké Dollars for winning. Let's go. Continue on. The Creepy Twins. We battled together as one team. Twins Amy and Liv would like to battle. A plus one in my arm. Oh, that's so cute. <laughs> You made me want to dig on my copy of Alpha Sapphire so bad. Just do it then. Do it. Uh oh, I'm scared. Helping hand? It failed! Take the L! Oh. Okay, it says Magikarp gained 192. And then Combuskin gained 96, Ralph 96. So that means no matter what, your XP share of Pokemon takes half of the XP from the fight. And then the Pokemon that participated just split up half. Hmm. Interesting. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. You defeated twins Amy and Liv. Oh, we lost, big sister. You got 360 Poké Dollars for winning. That was easy. Really? We're a lot better. It's true. We'll show you next time. You registered twins Amy and Liv in your Poké Nav. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. I could take candy from my baby. And you know what else I'm going to take from some of you guys? The right to watch the stream. Because we are another hour into stream. We're nearly four hours in. So I got to run an ad. If you want to avoid that ad, all you must do is subscribe. For $4.99, just $5. Skip your coffee and get ad free viewing all month long. Or you can link your Amazon Prime to Twitch and hashtag sub for free of Prime. Click subscribe. See if you have a sub available. Do it right now. I'm waiting. But also, don't subscribe because you can kill my Pokemon. And that's mean. Get some water, get a snack. I'll see some of you guys in a few. Okay, I need to refresh my mod view. It's not working. Mm -hmm. 
I'm reloading my chat box. Also, why is my camera laggy? It should not be laggy. Okay, testing to see if my chat block works. Why is that? No sub icons, I guess. Oh well. Back to it. Oops. <laughs> my Pokemon is delightfully adorable. Don't be shy, I'll show you. Okay, why do all the playground men want to show me their cute Pokemon? It's so weird. It's like they're trying to lure us with candy. Pokefan Miguel would like to battle. Okay, Skitty is pretty adorable, I'll admit. Double kick. <laughs> Super effective. So fighting is strong against normal. Oh yeah, normal's weak against fighting. That makes sense. Your Pokemon gained 103 XP. Magikarp grew to level 13. Man, XP share is so nice. Oh my god. You defeated Pokefan Miguel. Oh my gosh, my darling Pokemon. You got 1,200 Poke Dollars for winning. I'll get you to come out and look it on. I'll get you to come out and look in on my delightful Pokemon again. I don't want your phone number, Playground Man. <laughs> this guy is like a Sims NPC. <laughs> I think I missed an item back here. Oh, yeah, I did. I'm gonna go grab it real quick. Lepaberry heals PP? I didn't know. I usually don't even look at the berries. I guess we'll hoard those next. Because I have a lot of Orion berries. Secreto? You found one guard spec. ¿Qué es eso? Guard spec. Prevents stat reduction when used in battle. That's pretty cool. Oop. Hello. Ah, my fishing line's all snarled up. I'm getting frustrated and mean. That's it. Battle me! Fisherman Andrew would like to battle. Okay, what? <laughs> He's so bad. <laughs> Easy peasy, lemon squeezy.
Fighting is not strong against poison or water. Your Pokemon gain 112 XP. Okay, at least this guy didn't have three magic herbs. I can't make too much fun of him. Level 15 magic herb, though. Holy. Wait, this magic herb can tackle? Wait. I want that. I've never seen a magic herb use a different move. Your Pokemon gained 31 XP. You defeated Fisherman Andrew. God, lost it. I'm even more annoyed now. You got 600 Poké Dollars for winning. If you cross the sea from here, it'll be a shortcut to Old Dale Town. Oh, that's useful, isn't it? Dang. I can't swim. The game mimics reality. Okay, well, Route 110 is pretty sick. Most of the encounters, there was one grass patch at the very beginning. I'm gonna double check my Pokemon. I should have a... Snazzy does not have an item. Wow. Okay, Ralph and Gambas can have decent health, so I don't think I need to go back to the Poke Center for now. I kind of want to see what's under this overpass. Is this still Route 110? I missed that. Combuskin, do not kill. Do not kill. Good job. I want an Oddish so bad. Oddish is one of my favorite of all time. Oddish? Poke of all time. I'll try a normal one. Easy, Oddish was caught. Let's go. Oddish, weed Pokemon. This Pokemon grows by absorbing moonlight. During the daytime, it buries itself in the ground, leaving only its leaves exposed to avoid detection by its enemies. You've dusted off your DS? Nice. We can play Pokemon together now. Kind of, but not really. Wait, did I name it? Wait, shit. <laughs> um. Shit. Well, we'll go back to the nickname man and we'll change Oddish's name. I I misclicked. Everybody, welcome Oddish to the team. Dude, there's something in my eye. Oh wait, the camera's gone. What the hell? Dude. It was just there. Who's hacking my GBA and my camera? So annoying. Okay, I'm fixing it. I'm fixing it. What the heck did I miss? I got hacked. <laughs> no, I, I think it's because my laptop is getting too hot. Because usually it'll cause my USB ports to freeze. And then when that happens, I just have to unplug it and plug it back in. Ooh. Okay. 
Well, it froze there for a second. Okay, I refreshed the port, so let's see if it works now. I don't got a fancy PC, I stream from my laptop and my GBA. Wait, it's upside down. I think I'm gonna do a Nuzlocke too, get ready to cry. Wait, let's see who beats it first, Billy. <laughs> oh shit. Let's see. Wingle, I can't catch it. Damn. Well. R.I.P. Gus. Your Pokemon gained 54 XP. Dang, sad day. You found one dire hit. Trainer tips. The items in the bag can be reorganized by pressing select. Oh, that's cool. He caught me! I found some cool Pokemon in the grass around here. Well, so did I, man. An Aeron. Okay. Fire isn't that strong against steel, so I'm gonna try double kick. Okay, fighting is strong against steel. I'm gonna like repeat this every time just so like it gets engraved in my brain. Your Pokemon gained 152 XP. Electrike. I will not change. Oh, everybody forgets about this guy. <laughs> Who Megalol Electric? I'm paralyzed. Your Pokemon gained 144 XP. And Kabuskin grew to level 20. Nice. You defeated Youngster Timmy. Being cool isn't enough to win. <laughs> you think you're cool? Have you seen me, Peason underscore 17? Like, come on. <gasps> oh no, it's Brent! <laughs> oh no. <laughs> hey, Peason. So this is where you were. How's it going? Have you been raising your Pokemon? I'll check for you. Oh no. Oh no, oh no. He has a Lombre, level 18. Oh no, oh no, oh no. Ember. Double kick. Not too bad. Oh yeah, cause Lombre's a water type. I thought it was a grass cause he's green. A scratch should take him out. Oh, guess not. <laughs> Holy sh- I got scared. Oh my god. Your Pokemon gained 271 XP. Magikarp grew to level 14. Let's go. Marshtomp. Marshtomp. 
It's gonna be poison grass. I will not change. And I'm gonna heal my first turn. It's water! <laughs> I forgot! Okay, I thought Marshall was a mushroom. I thought it was the evolved form of Shroomish. <laughs> <laughs> what? What? I cannot be sweeped by Brandon. He's such a jerk. No, I should not waste a, a super potion. What am I doing? I'm getting scared. When I get scared, I make the wrong decisions. He's gonna explode! Oh no. Oh no. Okay. Bide is what killed Lotad last time. Oh, shit. What? I have to run into Brendan now? Okay, okay. Bide takes two turns, I think. So I think I have to make one hit, Confusion with Ralph. And then I will swap in somebody to die. I might have to swap in Ronnie to die. Because, like, I just want to keep Snazzy for the items. That way I save money later on. I, I definitely think Eren's going to be a stronger Pokemon. So, the plan is simple. One hit with Confusion for Ralph, and then we'll swap in Ronnie. Ronnie might have to take an L today. Confusion. He's storing energy. Okay, Ronnie, you're going in. Oh, this is so sad. <gasps> oh my god, he's alive! Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, that's crazy! Ronnie, you're so lucky, you're so lucky! Water getting is weak. Take the L. Okay, I don't want to miss a turn, so let's see. Absorb is strong against water. Ooh, maybe Leech Seed is also good, too. I'm going to do Leech Seed. That way, wh whichever Pokemon goes in, we'll just keep stealing health. You're seated. <laughs> Absorb. We're gonna keep Ronnie and hopefully Mar Ro Ronnie can take out Marshdomp. Ronnie's my goat. I'm sorry. I was gonna kill you, Ronnie. I'm so sorry.
absorb. You are such a little bitch! You are such a little bitch! Slugma. Okay, Slugma has to be fire, maybe ground, maybe dark. Ralph, you're in. I think I'm gonna do the PC run, catch every Pokemon before moving on. <laughs> that would be funny. Oh no. Ralph? Oh! Oh! Oh no! Oh no! <laughs> um... Wait, what heals burns? Wait, what? Paralysis awakens poison PP HP. Does nothing heal burns? Oh no. Um. Confusion. Stop it with the ember! One more confusion and he's dead. Take that, bozo. Your Pokemon gains 75 XP. About to use Marsh Stomp. I'm gonna change my Pokemon. Ronnie? You're back in, my guy. Ronnie, my goat! Absorb. Yeah! In the bag! Watch this. Brendan! I was not ready for that fight. Thank goodness I had Ronnie. If I didn't have Ronnie, I'd be cooked. He was my only grass type. Ronnie gained 306 XP and grew to level 14. Let's go. You defeated Pokemon Trainer Brendan. Hmm. You're pretty good. You got 1,200 Pokedos for winning. Peason, you've trained without me noticing. Good enough. Here, take this. You've obtained the item finder. You put away the item finder in the key items pocket. That's an item finder. Use it to root around for items that aren't visible. If it senses something, it emits a sound. Anyway, I'm off to look for a new Pokemon. <laughs> he has a bike. Okay, okay, let me check my Pokemon. Ralph is still burned, so I think I'm gonna book it to the Poké Center. Oh shit. Um. I'm gonna run away. I'm gonna book it to the Pokémon. Electri. I want to catch 
Oops, one. <laughs> I'm already paralyzed. Nice. Nice. And I'm still paralyzed. Cool. Sick. Wicked. Electrack was caught. Let's freaking go. Electrike, lightning Pokemon. It generates electricity using friction from the atmosphere. In seasons with especially arid air, its entire body blazes with violet showers of sparks. Sounds like a scary guy. Okay, what should I name him? Electrike. Eli. 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 Everybody welcome Eli to the team. Okay, now I'm gonna go to the Poké Center. Oh, I, okay, I should be in the clear from here on out. There's no more grass patches, I don't think. Oop. Almost went in there. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. Brenda thought he could best me, but no he didn't. I'm so cracked. That was a close call though. I did not think I'd see Brendan there. You know what I do want to see though? New followers, because guys, we are... Another 30 minutes in the stream, so if you're new here, click that follow button. You get cool emotes, and you get to type in chat. So, turn that heart button purple today. And if you're free to following, make sure notifications are turned on. That way you don't miss a single stream. Okay, I didn't name Otters, so I'm just gonna swap in Otters really quick. That way we can go give Otters a nickname. And then I'll just swap Oddish back out. Oh, wrong, wrong place. Este lugar. Is it? That is quite a fine name you bestowed. But what say you? If I were to suggest a slightly better name, ah, then what shall we name the new nickname? Be Audish, Audish, Ah, uh, uh, Aud, Audrey, Audish, Audrey, Audrey. I think I'm just giving my Pokemon like normal names. <laughs> All the old lady names are so sweet. I think they're adorable. If I had a if I had a pet, I would name it like a human name. I think it's hilarious. This Pokemon shall be known as Audrey. It's a better name than before. How fortunate for you. Okay, Oddish, now Audrey. That's my third Pokemon of the day. Audrey is going back in the box, everybody. Okay, I think what I've learned from the Brendan fight is I should probably have three Pokemon at all times that are higher level. 
That way, if I ever have an encounter or a fight of any kind, I'll have three Pokemon on the ready. Yeah, I don't have any more water types besides Goldeen. Let's see. Goldeen has Peck, Tail Whip, and Water Sport. Goldeen doesn't have any water moves, though. Yeah, I'm fine with this for now. As long as I don't run into anybody who has, like, more than three Pokemon, I should be fine. Which, it only really is Brendan out of all the fights that gives me trouble, besides the gyms. So back to it. In Alpha Sapphire, Cedaw has a 15% encounter rate? Shut up. You know what? I bet you won't find a Skitty! <laughs> Let's explore Route 110 some more. Another Electrike. Dude. The double kick is so strong. Pokemon gain 89 XP. Ooh, Gulpin. Very nice. I'll do one more scratch. It shouldn't kill. Yep. I was right. Don't put me to sleep. Pokeball. I'll use a Pokeball if they have red health, and if they have like yellow health, I'll do blue. Or an Ultra Ball. Or Great Ball. Gopin was caught, everybody. New Pokemon. There's so many new Pokemon in this area. Gopin, stomach Pokemon. This Pokemon stomach fluid can even digest scrap iron. In one gulp, it can swallow something that is as large as itself. So it's like a snake. Okay, what should we name Gulpin? Hmm. Now... I'm gonna be mature. <laughs> wait, 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 wait. I'm not gonna do these nuts. That's like too basic. Gulliver. I should have named Wingle Gulliver. But Gulliver. <laughs> Everybody welcome Gulliver to the team. <laughs> I wonder how many more Pokemon are in this area. That's like four or five. And there's probably still a plus hole too. Oddish. Wait, did I lose a Pokemon today? Did 
Did I lose a Pokemon today? I don't think so, right? No. Azumarill was yesterday. I don't- Sorry, I'm looking at my list. I don't think I lost anyone today. Because I was thinking, I was like, it's- Okay, it's been four and a half hours. How have I not lost a Pokemon yet? You know what I mean? I'm looking at my list, and I'm checking it twice. Yeah, I didn't lose anybody today. I swear I did. <laughs> oh, you guys would remember if I did. Okay, I'm gonna add... Gulp into my list now, so don't forget. Oh yeah, because I grinded in the caves, and then I went to the beach. I didn't- yeah, I didn't lose anyone today. So I'm just like conditioned to think that I'm bad at this game when I'm like actually pretty good. Uh oh. Um, okay. Okay, full throttle time. If you can't groove, you get left behind. I do appreciate how mo for most of the double battles, you can choose to like avoid it. Guitarist Joseph would like to battle. Electrike. Easy. Your Pokemon gained 156 XP. Magikarp grew to level 15. This XP shamer is insane. <gasps> Magikarp learned Tackle? No! Voltorb. Uh oh, he's gonna explode! Oh, saved. What? I always get so scared of the moves that, like, where they charge a power. I think they're too OP. Your Pokemon gained 154 XP. You defeated Guitarist Joseph. You got into the groove, alright. You got 448 Poké Dollars for winning. Could I see your Pokémon? Just one look, please. Oh. Collector Edwin would like to battle. Lombre. I just realized Seedot is, is a version exclusive to Omega Ruby, and I cannot, in fact, encounter it. Now nah, you should have kept searching. Surely it'll show up. <laughs> it's kind of like, I'm sure, like, I'll randomly run into a Rayquaza. Like, it will happen. Your Pokemon gained 211 XP. Combuskin grew to level 21. Combuskin is trying to learn Sand Attack. Sand Attack lowers the opponent's accuracy, so I don't like that. Nuzleaf. That's gotta be grass. Yeah, it's grass. Easy. Your Pokemon gained 211 XP. You defeated Collector Edwin. I wanted to complete my collection. You got Andrew. You got 840 Poke Dollars for winning. I like collecting match card registrations too. Okay. Everybody's such a creep. I'm just a child. Trainer tips. 
The foe can be made helpless by paralyzing it or causing it to sleep. It is an important technique for Pokemon battles. I knew that. Another overpass. Oop. Wingle. Your Pokemon gained 54 XP. Okay, this is going to be a double battle, so I'm going to talk to the cyclist from behind. I fell off cycling road. I'll get over my embarrassment by battling with you. <laughs> Dude, that's going to be a crazy fall. <laughs> Triathlete Alyssa would like to battle. Ooh, Magnemite. Magnemite is steel and electric. I think fighting was strong against steel. And I was correct! I'm learning. Wouldn't that, you know, hurt? I know, right? But the cyclist was wearing a helmet, so they should be fine. You defeated triathlete Alyssa. Oops, I ended up losing. You got 600 Poké Dollars for winning. Oop. Grr, Poochiana. Magikarp grew to level 16. I have foreseen your intentions. I cannot possibly lose. Oh. Psychic Edward would like to battle. Dude, there's so many kooky characters in this game. Abra. Dark is strong against Psychic. I don't think any of my Pokemon have dark moves. And I don't think physical moves worked on them. Ruh -ruh. <laughs> Easy. Your Pokemon gained 117 XP. You defeated Psychic Edward. I failed to prophesy my own demise. You got 360 Poké Dollars for winning. You found one Elixir. This is a pretty long route, 110. Another Poochiano. It's funny because, like, I haven't seen much of the actual game. Because, like, I've seen some YouTube videos of people playing, like, Nuzlocke's of Emerald, but I've only really seen the gym fights because they usually cut out all the filler. So, I haven't seen a lot of this game. Even though I've probably watched, like, hours and hours of Pokemon content related to this game specifically. Another Gulpin. Fire isn't as strong against poison. Hi, hacker. How's your ankle doing, man?
if you haven't already, you should request to see your actual doctor. That way you can have like medical documentations so you can sue your school. <laughs> Route 110, if you go up, is to Marville City. Ooh, new berries! You found three Naba berries. Lamau, <laughs> no. <laughs> I want to eat those, huh? Are you saying that because we just saw a gulpin? <laughs> okay, now have a poke block ingredient. You need to clock out redemption. People have asked for that, but if you think about it, not everybody wants direct attention whenever they leave or enter a chat. Um, and like, if you guys were clocking out throughout the day, I would get sad. <laughs> I'd be like, oh, they're leaving. So I think it's a lot better if people like come in and out like naturally. Like, you know, because. When people say, when they use the clock in Redemption, obviously they want me to say hi. So that's the justification for why I don't have a clock out Redemption. I'll plant one Nabo. Let's explore this area now. Hey, don't sneak up behind me like that! Oh, I thought you were gonna be chill, man. You don't gotta fight. Peckerberries look the best. Yeah, they look like bananas. Oh, he's got four Pokemon. Uh oh. Ruh row. Whalmer? I've never seen a Whalmer in game. He <laughs> looks so tiny. <laughs> <laughs> it literally has two spigots on its head. You can squirt on water. You gain 205 XP? Oh wait, shit. What Pokemon was that? Dang it, I missed it. I misclicked. Another Whalmer. Okay. Good thing I didn't switch to Combuskin. Ralph evolved? Yes, they did. It was near like the very beginning of stream, like an hour in. <gasps> this one knows water gun. Cool. At least this fisherman didn't have a single magic card. He's breaking the stereotype. Yo.
You defeated Fisherman Dale. I lost, Drat. You got 560 polka dollars for winning. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. Seaside Cycling Road. Okay, sir, let me purchase a... You can't walk on the cycling road, it's too dangerous. Please come back with a bike. Okay, fine. I guess I can't buy a bike here. Jerk. Ooh, there might be new fish here. I forget that I can fish. Ah, I'll come back to that. The fishing has been annoying. The two roads, one above, one below. A road for people and Pokemon. Perhaps that is right and fair. Yeah, because the people will kill the Pokemon. And people being me. Wouldn't it, be, wouldn't it be great to ride a bike at full speed on Cycling Road? By golly, it would. Mauville City! Surely there's a gym here. Hi, do you check out TV at all? They've added a bunch of cool new shows recently. TV is so cool. I've seen my friends on TV just out of the blue. And sometimes, they even put you on the TV without telling you. I wish I would be on TV sometime. That's why I think you should check out TVs whenever you can. Okay. If I had a bike, it'd be so easy to cycle to Slateport for some shopping. I'd be able to buy Harbor Mail at the Pokemart in Slateport. Sorry, Slateport is so hard for me to say, I don't know why. Use a certain move or use an item instead. The trainer's decisions determine how battles turn out, I think. Why does everyone want a bike? Because bikes are, like, eco-friendly. Have you noticed there's no cars in these cities? This whole island is just a walkable island. It's like Hawaii. It's wild. This could be our utopia. There are items that temporarily elevate the stats of Pokemon. The ones I know you use in battle are X-Attack and X-Defend. I do believe that there are others like them. Thank you, old man. Oh, I need a burn heal. There's no burn heal? That's so dumb. There's like a heal for everything else. I have nine regular potions, one super potion. One regular Pokeball, six Great Balls. I'll buy... Depends on, but it depends on how much money I have. I for sure need more super potions. I'll buy six. Ten Pokeballs, so I get one for free. Thank you for redeeming, Mac. I have six great balls. I don't need any more for now. Yeah, I don't have a. S There's nothing that heals a bird. Let's continue on. I keep on forgetting to check Snazzy. Dang, Magikarp's already at 16? The XP share is crazy. Actual game changer. Okay, I continue on. You know, it's cool to have Pokemon battles and stuff, but if your Pokemon gets hurt, you have to nurse it back to health. Okay, I think that's fairly obvious, man. 
If you don't heal your Pokemon, you're a jerk. You found one X speed. Let's check out the TV. And now it's time for the Name Raider Show. I tell your Pokemon's fortune from the nickname you've bestowed. Advice is what I have to give. And it is helpful advice that I offer today. I shall do a reading of the nickname Audrey of Peace Sins Pokemon Oddish. Hmm. This nickname is... An appealing nickname that should make the Pokemon very charming. I don't doubt that this Pokemon will be quite the charmer in Pokemon contests. The nickname Audrey is very shapely in a pleasing manner. The presence of the letter A in U. Now that is remarkably good. I must say that Audrey is quite a good nickname. I hope that the trainer will continue to treat Audrey with love. That's it for today's show. May we meet again. Okay. Why are they stalking me? Why are they grocery stalking me? Woohoo! I hear people call me the Rock Smash guy, but I find that sort of degrading. I think I deserve a bit more respect, like maybe the Rock Smash dude. Woohoo, anyway. Your Pokemon look pretty strong. I like that. Here, take this hidden machine. You obtained the HM06. That HM contains Rock Smash. If you come across large boulders that block your path, well, use that HM move and smash them right out of your way. Yes, sir. Smash rocks aside, I say, whoa. I probably can't use it till I beat the next gym, though, right? Let's keep exploring. <gasps> Bikes. I want a bike. Riding gravel and shake up your soul. Rido cycles. I probably gotta buy it, huh? Well, 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 what are we here? A most energetic customer, me. You may call me right out. I'm the owner of this cycle shop. Your running shoes, they're awfully filthy. Did you come from far away? Hmm, hmm. You're saying that you came all this way from Little Root? My goodness, that's ridiculously far. If you had one of my bikes, you could go anywhere easily while feeling the gentle caress of the wind. I'll tell you what. I'll give you a bike. Oh, wait a second. I forgot to tell you that there are two kinds of bikes. There are mock bikes and acro bikes. The mock bike is good for cyclists who want to feel the wind with their bodies. An acro bike is for those who prefer technical rides. I'm a real sweetheart, so you can have whichever one you like. Which one will you choose? What? Okay, ones who like to feel the wind, that probably means fast. Technical probably means that it's easier to control. I don't know. I'll do the acro. You chose the acro bike. And obtain the acro bike. If you get the urge to switch bikes, just come see me. Okay. I'm learning about bikes while I work here. If you need advice on how to ride your bike, there's a couple handbooks in the back. Okay. It's a handbook on the mock bike. Which page do you want to read? Okay. A bike moves in the direction that the control pad is pressed. It will speed up once it gets rolling. To stop, release the control pad. The bike will slow to a stop. A mock bike is speedy, but it can't stop very quickly. It gets a little tricky to get around a corner. Release the control pad a little before the corner to slow down. There are small sandy slopes throughout the Hoenn region. The loose crumbly sand makes it impossible to climb normally. But if you have a mock bike, you can zip up a sandy slope. Oh, like in the caves. Okay. And then the acro bike, which is what I have. Wheelies! Press the B button while riding and the front wheel lifts up. You can zip around with the front wheel using the control pad. This technique is called a wheelie. Keeping the B button pressed, you can your bike can hop on the spot. This technique is called a bunny hop. You can ride while hopping too. 
Press the B button and the control pad at the same time to jump. Press the control pad to the side to jump sideways. Press it backwards to make the bike change directions while jumping. Okay, so mock bike is good if you need to get up slopes. Acro bike is good if you need to jump. Okay. I kind of got it. Let's test this bad boy out. Oh, it's so fast. Wait, watch this. Wait, 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 wait. Watch this. Yo! I'm so sick! <laughs> okay. Can I, like, grind on the sign? Wait, watch this. Oh my god, it's so fast. Watch this. Oh, and then bunny hop. I want a bunny hop. Oh well. I forgot how to hop. Don't don't matter. Oh yeah, I, I kinda hate how fast the bike is going. I like walking more to be honest. Plus, it's rude to ride your bike in the bustling town. You know what else is rude? Having to watch ads. But you know what? We're five hours in the stream, so it's time for me to run some ads. You can avoid that ad by subscribing for $4.99, just $5. Skip your coffee and get ad free viewing all month long. Or you can link your Amazon Prime to your Twitch and hashtag sub for free with Prime. Click subscribe to see if you have a Prime sub available. Also, if you subscribe, you can kill my Pokemon. But also, don't kill my Pokemon. Get some water, get a snack. I'll see some of you guys in a few. Get boomed. <laughs> Even if you're riding a bike, what Pokemon could jump you? Nice. Have you been to Rydal Cycles yet? Right out, the owner is a very generous man. Imagine riding your bike straight into the wild grass, all the poor Poochianas. I think Poochiana should die. Just like tentacles. There was one time I was riding my bike on a wood trail. It was paved. And I almost ran over a garden snake. Thankfully, like, I was looking at the ground so I didn't hit it. But I got off my bike and I got really close. Because I knew it wasn't going to bite me. I was like... I got like a foot away and I took a picture. We don't have any snakes here in Washington, it's a bit too cold. The roads of this town stretch north and south and east and west. Because of that, we get all sorts of people coming through. Okay, es eso? The play spot for all, Mallville Game Corner. <gasps> An arcade? No way! Wait, it's a casino. I shouldn't be here. I'm a child. <laughs> Coins are needed to play here in the game corner. This roulette thing is rather demanding. Win or lose, it's only by luck. Wait, if I play this, am I gonna get banned? I can't gamble. Hey, kid. If you want to play here, you need a coin case. I think the young lady next door had one. Go see her. The roulette tables have different rates. Check your coins if you're gonna pick a table. Welcome! You can exchange your coins for prizes here. This is Marvel Game Corner. Okay, you wanted some coins for the games? But you don't have a coin case for storing the coins. Welcome. You can exchange your coins for prizes here. The lady next door. I made a mistake and got two of the same dolls. Would you like one of them? <gasps> yes! Here you go. You obtained the torchic doll. <gasps> no way! There's a prize I want, but I can't win the jackpot. You're so kind, lady. Up to three coins can be used to play the slots. I did not think there would be gambling in this game. 
Here's some information for you about the slots. The more lightning bolts you stock, the more real-time changes you get. In a game with the maximum 5 real-time chances, it is possible to receive 4 regular bonuses, then a big bonus. That will be a total of 660 coins, but it's very difficult to get. Thank you. It's easy to lose track of time in here. I should get back to work. Yeah, get off the machine, bozo. It's very difficult to make it stop right on 7. If it stops on 7 during the real-time bonus game, you'll receive an extra coin. Should I gamble? Type 1. Route 117? What? Ooh, I see berries. Oop, oop! You don't see me, sir. You found three wet pear berries. Huh? Wet pear berries. A pokeblock ingredient. I'll plant one. Stardew. We have Stardew Valley at home. Stardew at home. I'll be honest, this is a lot better than Stardew. There's so much more lore. And don't worry, I'll play Stardew one day for the fans, but... It reminds me of how sad I was all those years ago. I want a coin bag. I'm gonna heal my Pokemon, because I think there's a cutscene at the gym. I think that's the guy that caught the routes. He was like a frail child, and his parents were like overly protective. I just realized, I didn't talk to the people in the Pokemon Center at Slateport City. Oopsie. I'm the storyteller. I'll tell you tales of legendary trainers. Will you hear my tale? Yeah, why not? But I know of no legendary trainers, hence I know no tales. Where does one find a trainer worthy of a legendary tale? Are you a trainer? Then tell me, have you any tales that are even remotely legendary? Yes. What's that? Y you Checked a Pokedex two times? That is indeed magnificent. It's the birth of a new legend. Okay, he's patronizing me. A record corner open upstairs in the Pokemon Center. I don't know what it's about, but it sounds fun. I'll go check it out. That man over there, he says weird things. He's funny in a weird way. And I'll forget about him. Okay. <laughs> When I accessed the record corner, the data for what's hot in Duford got updated. Now that bit of data is the same as my friends. Yeah, it was... It was drooling something. <laughs> what was to the right? Oh, okay, it's Route 118. Oh my goodness, there's so many different areas. And then to the north. Route 111. Did you know that you can go from here a long way in that direction without changing direction? I might even be able to roll that way. Do you think your Pokemon will want to roll too? I could teach the move rollout if you like. 
No. I'm good. You don't need to be shy about it. Let's roll. I'm good for now. Oh, Uncle, please. I want to challenge this gym and see how much better I've become. Please, may I please? Now hold on, Wally. Since you started living with Pokemon, you've grown quite a lot stronger. But don't think... But don't you think you're pushing it to suddenly challenge a gym? I'm not pushing it. If I combine forces with Routes, we could beat anyone. Oh, hi, Peason. I've gotten a lot stronger since we met. Peason, I want you and my uncle to understand that. Peason, please, will you have a battle with me? Sure. Peason, thank you. Okay, here I come. Okay, I don't want to get- if I get sweet by Wally, I don't think I'll ever recover. Pokemon trainer Wally would like to battle. Wait, he still only has Routes? I'll do Ember to be nice. Okay, at least his routes is tough. Wally, how do you only have one Pokemon? Seriously. You defeated Pokemon Trainer Wally. <laughs> he was too stunned to speak. I lost. You got 960 Poke Dollars for winning. Okay, Wally, well, you've come this far. You only have one Pokemon? Uncle, I'll go back to Verda and Turf. Peace and thank you. Being a trainer is tough, isn't it? It's not enough just to have Pokemon to make them battle. That isn't what being a real trainer is about. Wally, there's no need to be so down on yourself. Why, what's keeping you from becoming stronger and stronger? Come on, let's go home. Everyone's waiting for you. Oh. Peason, it just dawned on me that you must be the trainer who kept an eye out for Wally when he caught his Pokemon. Why don't you visit us down in Vander and Turf sometime? I'm sure Wally would enjoy it. He really thought he'd sweep. <laughs> <laughs> I was watching that match. You're friends with that boy Wally, aren't you? I've had my eye on Wally for a while now. But you didn't hold anything back and beat him impressively. Yeah, that's what a real Pokemon battle's all about. I idolize trainers like that. I'll be cheering for you. I don't like Scott. Mallville City Pokemon Gym Leader Watson. The cheerfully electrifying man. I don't like that he just followed Wally. I know, right? Okay, so I know that ground is strong against electric. Fire could be strong, so Combuskin is our goat. I don't think I have many ground Pokemon. Let's double check, because now that we are at the gym, we know what type it is. Now we know which Pokemon we need to work on leveling up. Yeah, C dot only has normal moves. Steel and Rock. Yeah, it makes sense he's electric because there was a bunch of electric Pokemon that spawned. Okay. Oh, I also think maybe Gulpin... I remember in one episode of the anime, he was like immune to electric. I don't know if 
that's like canon though. Okay, so... The plan is simple. Because I remember, ground is strong against electric because in the one episode where Ash fought Brock, the only reason Pikachu won is because Pikachu triggered the sprinklers. Otherwise, the electricity didn't do much damage. So plan is simple. Combuskin, Ralph, Kadabra will be my backups. And I'm going to work on leveling up Eren and Geodude. They're going to be my type advantage for this gym. Now... Surely rock is similar enough to ground. So that means I don't need to level up... Uh, Magikarp or Shroomish. We're going to work on leveling up Eren and Geodude. I don't know if we'll... I think I'll level up as much as I can today. Right now it's 4 p.m. So maybe we'll level up for like an hour, hour and a half, and then whenever we pick up the peace lock again, we'll keep leveling up and then do the gym. But either way, for this gym, I need to be minimum level 23. So it, it'll be a, a lot of grinding for now. But for today, we did a lot of like lore. We went to Slateport City and then we explored Mauville City. So there was a lot of lore today and a lot of regular encounter battles too. So, let's get to leveling up. I gotta remove the XP share from Magikarp. From Magikarp. Okay, I'm gonna change my pin chat. Cause, oh, my pinch had a sleep port city. We were there hours ago. The okay, pinch has now changed. I'm gonna try and get in the habit of doing that throughout the day. Because I know these are longer streams. Also, realistically, I can probably only stream for another hour because my, my eyes are getting sore. And we do not want another pop blood vessel. No, we do not. One of my goals, whenever I do beat the peace log, I want to get every single one of my Pokemon to level 99. And then we'll just make Pokemon Emerald, like, just a casual playing game whenever, like, I want to play. But, surely... I, I need to not die. No more resets. Did I go in this building? I think I did. Oh, yeah, I did. Oh, I gotta give Pokemon an item. Let's level up Sal first. Sal now has XP share. I'm gonna go level up on Route 110. I'm also going to double check to see if I'm missing any Pokemon. I'm for sure missing Plusle, because I can't mine him. Or I assume both would spawn in the same area. 
That would make the most sense. Okay, Route 110. Huchiana, Wingle, Plussel, Minum, Gopin, Electric, Oddish. Okay, this walkthrough says Plussel and Minum are bad. And for fishing, there's no new Pokemon, because in order to catch more Pokemon, you have to, like, have a better rod. Yeah. Basically, I, I can't fish and catch new Pokemon until I get a better rod. Okay, Route 110, the only thing I need is a Plusle. So we're basically just going to murk everything that we see. Everybody get cozy. We're leveling up. Just gonna hang on this little grass patch. Another minum. That didn't do that much damage. I thought I would do better. I need to rearrange Combuskin's moveset. Make double kick the default move. to level 7. doing there we go now back to work sad wingle Uh-oh. Okay, I should probably heal the paralysis of the Poke Center, and I'll come back. And I think I'll give whatever party Pokemon, I'll give them the Quick Claw. Just so they guarantee it go first. Sagra to level 8. Or actually, I think the Buskin is fine. Yeah, because Paralysis doesn't damage them, so... Similar strat, only going to the Poké Center when my three... When my three leveled up Pokémon need to be healed. Oh, 
Oh yeah, the quick law. Easy. Back to it. Oh, Puchina doesn't take psychic moves. Dank it. I'm gonna run away. It's not worth swapping in Combuskin. I feel so bad murking the odd issues. Hi Kim, welcome in. Can we get some yo's? Hello. Sakura to level 9. To Verdan turf and talk to Willie's family, but I bet whenever you talk to Willie again, there's gonna be another fight. Electric. Well, oh, I also just remembered I don't have a Sableye. Should I go back and get a Sableye? Mm. I kind of want to, but it takes forever to get to the board. Oop, that was a crit. No, I, I told myself for this run, attempt number four, I'm not going to grind for every single Pokemon. <gasps> Besides a Plessle! Pokeball time. Since it's at yellow HP, I'm gonna go into the Great Ball. Please, I want a plus so then I'll catch every single Pokemon around 110. Please! Easy! Plus was caught. Less than like 10 minutes of searching, and we got a plus. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. Plus, cheering Pokemon. It has the trait of cheering on its fellow Pokemon. By shorting out the electricity it releases from its paws, it creates pom-poms for cheering. Oh, this actually be cute. Hmm. What shall I name Plusle? Plus. Plus, sus? How could I not call it sus? I'll do one S. The two S's look silly now that I think about it. Everybody, welcome sus to the team. <laughs> I love how my Pokemon names are old lady or meme. <laughs> 
Okay, so that's probably gonna be our last new Pokemon of the day, unless I want to go back and get a Sableye. That was Plusle. Dang, look at all the Pokemon I've caught. That's so many. And this is college ruled paper. <laughs> Hopefully, no other Pokemon died today. Imagine. So now that I've caught Plusle, we don't need to swap in Combuskin at all. And unless I have a Combuskin, if I see a Poochiana, I have to run away. And this is College World Paper is probably the funniest thing I've heard today. <laughs> okay, thank you. Guys, should I be a comedian? The world needs more female comics, right? Nah, I think I'm better at improving than writing. Because improving, you gotta raid the room. And I. Okay. Both improv and, like, scripted comedy, I think is impressive. But. I think it's very difficult to be an improver. We do need more female comedians. The men are just sexist in their jokes. Now, there's some good ones. There are some good ones. But, okay, I think it's because, like, I don't think a lot of women seek out that type of comedy. But then it's also the point of, like, they should not be making sexist jokes. Like, there's both- you can argue both sides, but... It is kind of hard to see a comic make sexist jokes and not think that they don't abuse their partner, you know what I mean? Like, there was this one guy... Who was at- Ooh, Sagro to level 10. There was this one guy, about, like, who went on stage for open mic. Tall, lanky, white guy. And, like, his opening joke was about, like, beating his kid. And he's like, no, I don't do that. But, like, I really want to. And I was like... <laughs> it's like... You know, he would be first on my list. Like, okay, that, that joke would have been funny if, like, he's like, you know, I don't beat my kid, but I beat my wife. <laughs> that would have been a good misdirection. Like, that would have been good. Out of so many topics, they picked that. But that's because, like, it's because, like, it's fine to hate women. It's fine. You know, it's, like, accepted at so many levels of society to hate women. Oh my god, Ralph grew to level 23. Editor, cut that out. No clippers. So I grew to level 11. And learned rock throw. Let's go. Can't wait to get VIP for that clip. <laughs> okay, you realize to be the... Um, somebody type exclamation point clip in chat. In order to get VIP for being the best clipper, I have to like the clips. You think I'm gonna put... What I said in the best of compilation? No! That would be silly and stupid! Dude, okay. <laughs> Cutie Lee, there was one stream where she farmed a little bit of drama. Okay, a little bit of drama. With a larger female streamer. And it, it popped off. That stream had like 30 viewers. <gasps> she had a little bit of clout. And like, one of her viewers Kind of like baited her, but also not, because Kudulay, she like leans into stuff when she really shouldn't. Like, she like purposely had a sound bit of her saying, I hate women. <laughs> and like sometimes, this happened a year or two ago. Like, there was one bozo on her Twitter replies who would just reply with that video for every single one of her tweets. It's like, don't set yourself up to be shit on. So, Clippers, behave. If you don't behave, you get peace I do punched in chat. I just wanted to tell you that my uncle bought me a Pokenav. Now I can get in touch with you anytime, peace in. Also, it's me, Wally. Click. <laughs> like, that's why anytime I say anything that can be clipped out of context, 
I explicitly make myself sound like I'm joking. Like, I'll put on a little voice so it's clear that I'm joking. And also, if I use my normal voice when I say some bad shit, you guys will make some AI videos, and I don't want that. Oh my god, a creep! We're switching. Also, Snazzy has an item. That's also why, like, I don't- I've never, like, flipped off the camera. Like, it, wait, no, have I? Wait, <laughs> have I? No, uh, no, 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 no. I don't think I've ever flipped off the camera on stream, like, for a bit. Because I don't want screenshots of that. You know, what if I have to get a real job? So I'm to level 12. No, you have. You flipped me off once. No, you're lying. You are lying. I did not. Give me the timestamp and the... Vi I'm not. No, when was that? I remember it. No, you don't. Wait, did I? <laughs> I don't know. You could be gaslighting me, because the last time you were in chat, Vic, was like a year ago. Y'all know my memory's horrible. I'm like a goldfish. I only remember... When, like, my owner flushes me down the toilet. Oh, shit. But I do remember you flipping me off. Okay, I think you're thinking of somebody else. I don't... Okay, what would have been the context? You, I think you're gaslighting. You're gaslight gatekeeping. I... Letting me? Vic, you're still a jerk. I stand behind that. My bad, thank fucking god. And yes, I said the F word. Okay, okay. I've never flipped off the camera. Mainly because, like, my fingers are pudgy. I don't like how my hands are shaped. Like, I like skinny fingers. I don't, I don't got skinny fingers. I don't want screenshots of my pudgy fingers. Okay, saved. Dude, I thought it was going to get cancelled. I thought it was you? You think I'm going to flip you off? The worst thing I've said is you're a jerk or you're stupid, but you like that apparently. <laughs> yes. Ooh, an antidote. Thank you, Snazzy. I think it's funny. A lot of smaller streamers will tolerate, like, being shit on, like, relentlessly. Like... <laughs> Not saying that I will go into small viewer streamers and shit on them. I just see it a lot. Back when I used to, like, watch low viewer streams for fun. Like, before I started streaming. Like, that's how I had fun. Like, I wouldn't chat, I would lurk. And so many of their mods would just be, like, roasting them, but, like, roasting them for mean stuff. <gasps> Thank you for the 22 months, Mac! Thank you! No, you subscribed! No, that's a new sub! Oh, no! <laughs> Can we get some wax and shit? Oh, no. It actually counted today, huh? Oh, no. Guys, four more subs and you kill a Pokemon. Shit. Here we go! No! Oilers don't- Oilers hold. Hold. <laughs> My most recent po caught Pokemon is a Plusso, so let's be honest. Wait till I catch a better one. Nah, I roast you, but it's all fun yet. Yeah. Like, whenever we- we call it Bantu. Shit, stop paralyzing me! God damn it. Bruh, synchronized, paralyzed, wild, plushy. 
Sorry, I don't know why I pointed the camera. It's, it's the Pokemon that's taking the L. What was I saying? Thank you, Mac, for the reset. I'm paralyzed. Doc. Oh, okay, so, like, I don't... Oh, good night, Billy! Thank you for staying up! You have a good night! Thank you for watching. I promise I won't lose any Pokemon. Fingers aren't crossed. What was I saying? Okay, I'm gonna go to the Pokemon Center because everybody's paralyzed. Everybody's gonna die. Oh, so, like, you go to a lot of small streamers and people will, like, get shit on all the time by their chat and that's just how new viewers have fun. But it's like, I don't tolerate that shit. You know, I click go live to have fun. And if you guys are gonna call me a fat-ass, ugly bitch, <laughs> I'm not gonna stream. <laughs> so... Like, you guys know, I don't fuck a ramp. If I don't like what you say, I will tell you or I will delete it and be like, not cool. Wait, who's Isabel? But also, like... But then it kind of, it molds you guys to, like, be funnier and nicer, which is good. Because... Considering my viewer count and the amount of chatters I have compared to viewers, it's not common. Like, most people will have like 10% of their live viewer count chatting, but I usually have like at least 50%. So like, if I have uh, 10 viewers, 5 people are chatting. If I have 5 viewers, 3 people are chatting. Which is a lot. So, I gotta make sure you guys behave. I also respect you, which some streamers don't have. Wait, what does that mean? Does that mean you don't respect everybody else? What the hell? That's not cool. <clears throat> How do I say the wrong thing? <laughs> no, it's my anxiety brain. I will always read things with a negative connotation because I'm diagnosed with anxiety. But it's technically anxious distress. I have espresso depresso over everything. Anyway. Oh, hi, Peace, and this is Isabel. I was in a battle recently, and my mind was exceptional. I wish you could have seen it, Peace, and bye bye. I have no clue what Isabel is. Are oh, you saying other viewers don't respect other streamers? Okay, gotcha, boss. That makes sense. I think it's because once you fall into the pit hole of like allowing one or two people to be shitty to you, then everybody is going to think that's okay. Then you, if you keep allowing that behavior, you become the butt of the joke, similar to in high school. There's always that one or two friends in your friend group that everybody shits on. And, like, that's just their life. That was me. I was the person who, like, who got shit on. But, like, dude, I had, looking back, I had no fucking real friends. But that's also because, like... I'm not saying that I am on the spectrum, but I exhibit a lot of symptoms that I didn't realize were sim or, is symptoms the right word? I don't think that's the right word. Traits. I don't know. My sister's on the spectrum. I never got evaluated because my parents were like, oh, peace and you're so much, you're excelling so much more than your sister. Surely you don't need to be tested. <laughs> so... <laughs> But, like, as an adult, I'm like, wait, what? <laughs> I'm like, ruh -ruh. That's so messed up. It's not, like, it's not bad, but it's just, like, oh, well. But, like, my sister had, like, more obvious uh, symptoms. My sister didn't speak until she was four. Like, she was nonverbal for a long time. She didn't even cry. She didn't babble. They thought she had some type of other immune condition, but they just found out she was autistic. <laughs> so, she got, like, a lot of medical attention for that growing up, which is good. But then also my parents just didn't notice my shit. What? It was fine. Like, I'm, you know, I can, like, mentally handle most things, but... There are some barriers that I face, but they, they aren't severe enough to where, like, I need assistance, which is good. I'm lucky. Kabuskin grew to level 22. Let's freaking go. Remember, for this gym, I need to be at least level 23. And what were we talking about? Oh, so, like, I was the friend in the friend group. Cause, dude, I was such a pick-me. <laughs> dude, I hated it. 
Because, like, I was a pick-me, but I didn't know what a pick-me was. I was friends with all, like, the the nerds in school. All the, the people who brought their huge Magic the Gathering decks to school. Because those were the only people who, like, want an extra girly in their group. So, like, they would, like, give me shit all the time. I never was, like, bullied. They didn't bully me, but, like, I was just, like, the one they would poke all the time. Verbally. And, like, I didn't care. Not Magic the Gather. You know what's funny? They all still play, and... Most of them look crusty as fuck. None of them got a glow up. None of them look cute now. And if you're watching, um, no you're not. Only one of them, like, kinda glowed up, but he's in the- he's in the- what do you call it? He's in the military. So, like, he kinda had to get swole. Anyway, TLDR. Uh, just don't let yourself be shit on. And the best way to avoid that is to call it the behavior as soon as you can. And also, I'd like to clarify, if there's any time where, like, my banter, or if I call out a channel directly and it hurt- it genuinely, like, hurts a little bit, tell me and I'll fix that behavior. I don't want anybody leaving the sad- or leaving the stream because they're sad. I've told this story before, but... <laughs> I don't remember what game it was, but I was playing a game on stream and like it was like a it wasn't a challenge stream But like I had what I was doing in the stream title like let's say for example um, It was Mario Kart and the stream was getting first in every track and uh, A chatter came in this was a newer chatter. They only had watched like two or two or three streams prior to this day But they came in the chat and they're like, oh, what are we doing today? And I was like, oh, we're doing this. It's in the title you silly dumbass <laughs> and then they never chatted again. <laughs> and I felt so bad. I felt so bad. Because, like... Obviously, I'm joking, but, like, I understand, like, some people take it to heart sometimes. I only really goof with chatters like that if they're, like, a long-term viewer and they know the vibe. Or if a viewer, like, banters right from the jump. Then I know they can take it. Yeah, I d okay, I didn't bully them by accident. Bullying means multiple occurrences. occurrences. Oops, confusion doesn't work. I should make Combuskin my party leader. So after that day, I made sure to be kinder to the newer chatters. And then whenever they hit the one month part, that's when, you know, I probably figured out the vibe to see if they want to goof. You know, we live and we learn. Live, love, love. The 30 day trial ends, I know, right? <clears throat> but it's usually around the one month mark where viewers start like bantering back a bit more too. Also, like, there are some times where I feel bad, because, like, I'll call chat stupid all the time. But you guys can't call me stupid. Stupid is a blocked word. <laughs> you guys gotta think of, like, a code word to mean stupid, but not say stupid. You know what I mean? That'll be your homework for today. <laughs> stupid? Pit sounds like a... British word. Okay, I'll be honest, my eyes are starting to hurt. I think... We'll, we'll play for eight more minutes. Whenever we hit 40... Yeah, 44 hours. <laughs> Stupid. I also noticed... Whenever I do do something stupid in game, you guys will put peace I too bruh. 
I have noticed that. Oh, another thing that I will say to, like, lighten the blow, instead of calling people, like, stupid or dumb, I will say D-U-M, like, spell out dumb, but without the B, because that's part of the joke. The reason why I do that is because... Wait, am I, am I gonna get serious? Tab 1 if you're ready for me to get serious, guys. I gotta ask for consent first. I don't want a trauma dump in the chat room. <clears throat> Okay, you guys ready? Get your tissues out. For tears, not anything else. So, obviously, with a lot of people who struggle with, like, mental illness... <laughs> Dude, what was that lisp? <laughs> obviously, a lot of people who struggle with mental illness have, like, other things they struggle with. And, like, I struggled a lot with, uh, self-doubt and confidence for the longest time. And that's because I didn't have a lot of outward, like, positivity in my life. But that's a whole nother... A uh, can of worms. So, you know, I would call myself stupid or dumb, like, in my head anytime I made a mistake. Because, uh, I had a lot of, like, figures that I should have looked up to call me that when I was younger. You know, like, your parents and shit. So it's like, anytime I would do something even minor, I would just think to myself, stupid, dumb, and that would just loop in my head. And something that I started doing in like high school was instead of saying like oh you're stupid in your head i would say you're d-o-m because one of my friends wait this is actually the military guy i should like dm him at some point he was pretty chill but like one of his bits that he had with his friends was calling things d-o-m so ever since i started trans or er, switching out saying you're dumb or you're stupid i would just say oh you're d-o-m like, it kind of lightened the blow. Because, like, there, it all, it would also make me giggle in my head. <laughs> in my head, that's so weird to say. But, like, um... Oh, why am I doing... I should do Ember. It's Oddish. Because, like, it's funny because you're spelling dumb wrong. It's D-U-M-B, not D-U-M. So, I also do... You, you'll notice it on stream, too. Where I will say, like, something in game is D-U-M. Because it makes it sound a bit more lighthearted. And I noticed... Whenever, um, I started calling myself D-U-M, I stopped gradually referring to myself as dumb or stupid. I- also, I learned this in therapy, too. You have to change your mentality because with, uh, self-confidence in particular, it's not you who's being dumb, it's your action. It's what you're doing. It's not you yourself. You're not innately horrible, you're not innately stupid. Um, it's what you did. And an action is temporary. Yes, there are consequences of actions, but most actions don't have severe consequence or long-lasting consequence. So, if you struggle with... Oh, Cyber to level 15, nice. If you struggle with doubt and not... Um, I guess standing behind what you've done, you just need to acknowledge that those actions are of your past self. You, you also still need to acknowledge that it's wrong if it was wrong, but you can't beat yourself up over a past action if it doesn't have a super, super long-lasting effect. Um... So yeah, that's why I say D-U-M instead of dumb anymore. So anyway, ever- so since I started using D-U-M and referring to myself, um, it gradually led to me, like, saying, like, Oh, that thing I did was dumb or silly. How about I not do that again? Instead of immediately going to, you're stupid. And it took, like, at least three years for me to change that mentality. But gradually, it happened, right? And I feel a lot better now. Thank you, Vicodin. Yeah, it took a lot of time to, like, kind of recondition how I think. Because when you grow up, obviously, like, medical treatment is harder to obtain. Because, like, your parents typically will have full control over, like, your medical care and stuff. And obviously, mental health is, like, not fully... It's not that it's not talked about. It's just, like... 
It's only as of recent where more people are willing to bring it to the table of discussion. Hi, Rocket. Can we get some meals? You came in at a cool time. <clears throat> Wait, two more minutes of grinding, guys. Let's get let's kill all the Pokemon. So, anyway. It took like a lot of years of like self reflection and then also counseling. I only did six months of counseling. I'm gonna re-enroll this year, I promise. I just gotta see if it's in my budget this year. Because, you know, it's either I get brain surgery or I get counseling and MRIs. You know, I gotta, gotta pick one. I just had a therapy session today? That's great. Take whatever rest and time you need for it. Yeah, it, it took a long time to kind of uh, change my mentality. But you have to understand that if you feel like you can't do it alone, don't feel ashamed to get help. That can be like professional assistance. That can be leaning on your friends a little bit more. Don't ever feel like you need to handle things on your own. You just have to make sure if it's with a friend or family that they are like fully consenting to like helping you navigate that. Like you don't, you don't want to be trauma dumping in the Discord group chat. Yo, easy. We can probably squeeze in maybe one more Pokemon in 30 seconds, right guys? Maybe one more kill. Okay, watch this. On Pokemon execution, any percent. <laughs> Wait, you're speedrunning? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, look at the timer. Um, I'm almost at 44, uh, 44 hours. Whoa, 44 hours, everybody! New PB. I'm doing the peace in any percent run, which is where it's peace in underscore 17, just beating the stupid game. We're on attempt number four, three race sets in, five Pokemon lost. Okay, I'm gonna go to a Pokemon Center and heal, and then we'll wrap it up for today. Okay, let's stop the timer and review what I've done today. Oh, also, can we get some Yo's Rocket? Did I forget? I'm sorry. My only day. Let's review day six of the Peace Lock 2024. Okay. To review, end of day six. No gem defeated, but I got to explore Slate. No gyms beat today, but I got to... <laughs> I hate recording. Okay. No gyms beat today, but I got to explore Slate Port City. I got the XP chair item, which is working so well for me. I also caught five new Pokemon. I caught a Minum, Oddish, Electrike, Gulpin, and Plusle. The only Pokemon that I haven't caught so far in game is Stabilize, but I need to have a Pokemon that can put others to sleep, and then I think maybe then I'll go back for Stabilize. And now we know that the third gym is a electric gym. So I need ground and rock Pokemon, I assume. I assume. No lost Pokemon today either. I didn't mark a single one. And chat didn't come in either. So thank you guys. Day 7 will continue next time. Which next time will probably be... Uh, maybe Saturday or Sunday. Tomorrow I have to do a sub only. I got I owe you guys a sub only stream. Um... So yeah, day six, technically day seven, of the Peace Lock 20... Wait, I need to save my game. Holy shit. 
Anything else is gonna be hell? Yeah. The uh, stream is not over yet, guys. We're gonna do calligraphy because we did get a resub today. Right now, my current Pokemon save is at 18 hours and 54 minutes. Damn. Yeah, you say editing this is gonna be hell, but it's gonna be my hell. Unless I can afford an editor in like three months, which ain't happening. Guys, we need we need like a bajillion subs to afford an editor. Am I gonna cut all, all the resets? I think how I'm gonna edit these streams is I'm going to do a video for every day of the Nuzlocke. I'm not gonna do like an hour highlight reel of 44 hours of content, that'd be crazy. Okay, I'm gonna verify that it's saved correctly, real quick. I get scared. Okay, it said last saved at 4.35. Okay, it saved correctly. Thank God. Holy moly. Yeah, yeah, the gaming channel, it's not, the gaming channel is public, but I, like, I haven't been promoting it, because, like, there's no videos on it. It will be a Let's Play channel. I'm hoping to launch it in summer. I'm also kind of looking, but not, also not looking. I want to channel thumbnail artists. So, if we have any artists in chat, uh, check it out. It's just Peace and 17 Gaming on YouTube. Which I don't think you'll find the channel. It might not even come up in search because it has no subs. Okay, let's get some music on. You guys know the drill. Subscribe or use your channel points and I will write your name. Do so now. Also, my tummy's grumbling. <laughs> oh, you guys want to listen to Sims music? I'll find it. Ooh, actually, Vito. Little goody two shoes. Yeah, Electra does art. And Electra said they want a job, so I don't know. I'm I'm broke. I can't afford a thumbnail artist now. Cause it would cost like probably minimum fifty dollars per thumbnail, so that's how many subs? She <laughs> Dude, that's so many subs. The plan is simple. I sell painting, make millions of dollars. Mm-hmm. Fifty dollars for one thumbnail? Okay, think about it. Okay, no, sorry, that, that was rude. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Cancel me. Okay. Is that, like, cheap? Well, are you putting caps because you think that's cheap or expensive? Like, what? I'm confused. I saw this one TikTok, and it was this person com fake complaining about having to pay, like, $500 for a custom... Like, illustration. You thought expensive? No, that's cheap. That's cheap. That's why I said $50 minimum. We'll, we'll break it down as we do calligraphy. But the TikTok I saw, he was like, Man, I had to pay $500 for this commission custom piece of artwork, and you know what? I'm so glad to pay $500. I love this piece so much. And, like, it was so funny because all the TikTok comments were like, Dude, you had me for the first 10 seconds. I'm deleting my paragraph right now. <laughs> it was a good bit. But $50 is pretty cheap. Uh, if you think about like a traditional like illustrator, like for traditional media, they would charge $50 an hour. Minimum. Minimum. Oh my god, I showed my lap. Ew. So if like a professional artist can charge $50, someone who doesn't necessarily have uh, like, work history in the field, they can justifiably charge, like, 25 an hour. Especially have a, if they have a degree or partially, like, formal training, like a certificate in the arts. I thought thumbnails take less work, though. Shut up. That's Don't say that. When I think of a YouTube thumbnail, you think of, like, somebody photoshopping a composition. But even... Even, like... Photoshopping like pictures and elements together, there's still color correction, there's still uh, chroma keying, there's still a lot of work to it. And also, like, 
you have to know composition. Like, you can, you can identify when you see a shitty thumbnail. And if you think about it, a thumbnail artist should be able to negotiate more for their rates because the thumbnail is debatably, like, one of the most important things. Also, I have to run an ad if you're a non-sub, fuck you. <laughs> just kidding, just kidding. Yeah, thank you, Mike. Or, Mike, thank you, Mac, I saw that earlier. Um... Uh, thumbnail is debatably one of the most important parts of a YouTube video. Right? So, I personally think... And for the gaming channel, I specifically want an illustrated thumbnail. Which is much more difficult than doing just an illustration. Because the artist would have to understand illustration, composition, and also YouTube to an extent. Like... Uh, you can't just have, like, an illustration that isn't drawn like a YouTube thumbnail, if that makes sense. Like, if you have an illustration of a field, like, just a plain field, that won't look good. Because that's not what a traditional YouTube thumbnail is like. It has to grab you, it has to draw you in. Yeah, they would draw me. It would just be, like, me doing pog faces and then, like, elements from the game in the background of the thumbnail. So, like, for example, if it was Little Goody Two Shoes and it was... For that series, I ideally want me drawn in the outfit of Little Goody Two Shoes. And then they would have to draw, like, like for the fun. Wait, should I say the finale? <laughs> no, I should wait. You guys didn't watch that fucking stream anyway. So, like, the main premise of the game is, like, getting a basket of goodies. So, like, they would have to draw, like, an illustration of probably me, the figure, the basket of goodies with the elements from the game, and then also the background of the game. So, they would have to understand composition, like, very well. So, $50 minimum, because $50 is probably, like, standard rate of two hours of work. Which, it would take a lot longer than two hours to think of an idea, a concept, then also render it, and also do revisions. Because, ain't no way. I'm very particular, so, like... They would probably have to do revisions. <laughs> or, like, send me an editable file to where I can move elements around, for example. I was kind of confused by that game. Yeah, like, that's why, like, story games are hard to do on stream. Because if you come in halfway, then you don't understand, like, 90% what's going on. That's why I decided anytime I'm going to play a longer story game on stream, I'm just going to do longer streams. Like, just marathon through them. Uh, TLDR. Of course, a YouTube thumbnail will cost more than $50. Of course. I think a lot of people are always shocked. Because when you think of a traditional, like, commissioned artist... Like, you see on Twitter, they charge like, Oh, $10 for a sketch, $20 for a fully colored render. And it's like... That's cheap, that's very cheap. A traditional artist will pay, will charge minimum $25 an hour for any labor. Oh, why'd I put a gifted icon? Oopsie. <laughs> Mac did not gift a sub. I'll just put... 22 month resub. And also, like, I don't want to, like, underpay anybody who works for me. You know what I mean? Because then I, then I would be a fake socialist. And I don't want to be cancelled. Thank you, Mac, for the... 22 month resub. I appreciate you. Thank you. <laughs> Looks at Fiverr. If you work on Fiverr, that's totally fine and valid, but then you still have you have to work past the stigma of your work not being good. Because people expect lower rates, lesser product. Also, if you think about it, if an artist is going to charge $25 plus an hour for labor, you know they're gonna give you good shit. Cause ain't no way. If somebody is charging market rates for a commission piece and they're a smaller artist and they don't give a good product, they're gonna be ostracized. Or people will be like, oh, just don't commission from them. So, my opinion is, in general, for any workspace, if you pay your worker more, they will create better work. 
And that is applied to any field. I genuinely believe that. That's why, like, I'm also thinking... I'm not gonna commit to this, so... Uh, clippers, don't. <laughs> if I ever have, like, an editing team, or, like, YouTube or whatever, or any other social media, I would give them royalties. I feel like that makes sense. Because then they would be more incentivized to, like, make a better video, because they get, like, a percentage cut of the revenue. No matter how poorly or how well the video would potentially perform. Like, I think that's totally fine and valid. <laughs> I don't know what percentage, because, like, I don't know what percentage is standard. Well, this is like a dark gray purple. I don't think I've used this color before. It's like a gray purple. Gigantic. Wait, I almost said it right? Vicatent. Vicantent? Vicatent. Vicantent? <laughs> yes! No! <laughs> Is it Vicatent? Vicantent? Like can't? Vicantent. My name is easy to say, okay? I don't like hard to say names. Nope. Shit. I tried. You said it twice? <laughs> Dude, you need to send me like a voice memo or some shit. <laughs> Thank you for redeeming Kobo. When peace and becomes a business? No, that's that's the end goal. I want to become a empire. No, like, legit, I like the idea of becoming, like, a media company. Or having some type of business. Because that's how you make money. You get tax write-offs when you fail, don't you know? <laughs> but ideally, you should not fail. I still think it's really interesting that you guys were like, oh, $50 for a YouTube thumbnail? Like, you guys know my opinions about, like, compensation concerning art. I think the reason why I like the idea of having some type of media company for stream or YouTube stuff is I like the idea of giving people an opportunity. And in the sense of like giving them a job and then also like helping make shit. Because I know that like just in general media and entertainment is hard to get into. But if I can be like a stepping stone or just give them a space in which they can be paid for what they enjoy doing, I think that'd be really cool. What am I gonna be playing after Pokemon? I don't know. I don't know. I think... Okay, obviously Pokemon is gonna take the rest of March. Obviously. We got 10 days left of March. And then... April's my birthday? 
I don't have a- wait. Let me look at my... Okay, you guys want to be spoiled for the whole year? Screenshot. <laughs> wait, we actually could probably screenshot that shit. Um, April? I don't have a theme yet. That's because, like, I, I kind of want April to be a, a chill month because the Pokemon is, like, super long streams. And I knew that going into it. So, oh, I still also have to play the the single-player game that came out on the Switch. The Girl with the Red Sweater. I don't know what the game is called. I have to play that. And then... So probably just, like, one-off games, one-off streams. I also need to get more just chatting streams done, so I have YouTube content for the next few weeks. Or next few months, rather. But yeah, that's the plan. Kind of a loose plan. April is not too planned out. Okay. I think I'm done. Oh. Long stream. Six hours is short for a peace lock stream. It still felt like a long time. I started at 10.30, though. I I'm, t I'm so tired. I think it's because I didn't sleep well last night. I got home late. I didn't sleep well. But, thank you guys for watching. Any chatters, lurkers. Thank you for hanging out for day six, technically day seven, of the peace lock 2024. No gym badge, but I didn't kill a single Pokemon today. That's pretty wicked. Thank you for hanging out. Thank you for chatting. Spending the day with me. And once again, thank you to Mac for the resub with Prime, successfully adding one more subscription to the Kill Pokemon Fund. Um, what else before I go? Before I go, if you want something to watch right now, new YouTube video. If you get last, you get banned. Banger YouTube video. Go watch it now. And make sure you're following me off on social media. I have a Twitter, Instagram, and a TikTok. Daily clips on TikTok, Instagram. I never post. But on Twitter, I'm going to start posting daily clips from streams. So we talked about this earlier. I will repost my favorite clip that you guys make for the day on Twitter at the end of stream, so... Uh, clip more. You guys won't get anything, but you will get recognition in the following stream of the next day. That is the plan. Well, uh, once again, thank you, Keelan, for getting yesterday's favorite clip. Um, tomorrow. Weekly sub-only stream. Since I missed last week's sub-only stream, I'll do a longer one tomorrow. And you guys said you wanted to try and do Poke Park on the Wii, so for the fans... I will hook up my Wii. So if you want to watch that stream, make sure you're subscribed. So I think tomorrow... I'll probably stream at normal time. Probably 11. I'll do like 4 or 5 hours. I'll do a full length stream. Okay. I'll see you guys tomorrow for sub only, non-subs. I might see you this weekend, maybe Monday. We'll see. Have a good night, guys. Bye-bye. Bye, -bye. Bye Vacantant. Vacantant. Yeah, okay, legit, send me a voice memo on Twitter and I'll watch it. Wait, Vicantant? That's okay. Like, can't? Vicantant. <laughs> Vicantant. Vicantant. That. Sorry, I'm saying your name so much. I did it! Vicantant. Vicant. That's so. The I don't like doing the S sound. <laughs> you did it! Yay! <laughs> that's not how I pronounce my A's usually. That's probably why I kept fucking it up, huh? Vacantant. Like, can't, like I can't. Wait. It's like I can't. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Wait, Vacantant, Vic do you have the extensions for your computer? You get little emotes. Download them all, it's fun. Nobody ever says it right. Well, I did it. I finally did it. You don't have the extensions? What the hell? You never wondered why you can see so some pictures on my stream, but not in chat? If you, those extensions only work on desktop, ideally in Chrome. 
but you get like more custom chat settings and then you get more emotes because different twitch channels if they have extensions and they can add custom emotes i had no idea how it worked oh uh you just you click the link and then it says download extension then you just make sure you download it to the right browser easy peasy lemon squeezy 70 is the best one the other ones you can use but like a uh, better tv is mid now franker vc has some nice like custom settings you can add to your chat box and then 7 tv has like the most emo catalog yeah I, I can't imagine watching twitch without the extensions they make the ui look so much better in chat and also they have a lot more accessibility settings too like you can change chat color names to make them more like if you have red green color blindness that type of stuff you can like disable animations too there's a lot of good settings okay any final words we're gonna play the outro song you guys have one minute wait ludwig is doing a watching tiktok streams <laughs> wait i want to watch that oh my god ludwig is so cool Bye, Vic- Bye, Cadent. Wait. Vic- Vicantin. Vicantin. Vicant. I can't. <laughs> Sorry, I'm gonna say I can't every time to remember. Bye, Kim. We'll see you next time. Wait, Kim, you wanna hear something funny? Vic- Vicantin is also getting their masters because they were bored. <laughs> you still said it wrong? Fuck. Okay, I'll see you guys tomorrow if you're a non-sub. I'll probably see you this weekend with more Peace Lock 2024. Have a good night, everybody. Goodbye.